Harry. Harry. Harry, yeah. And I'm giving my customers free shit, and you're charging the fucking customers. Oh my god, bro. Seriously. Stop stealing my customers. I need the customers to keep my place going. Thank I mean, you. you're stealing them, bro. It's Pina just... Weenie bum bum. It's nasty, Everyone and it's fucking unfair to me. As Dorothy Penisheimer. Well, I mean, I hate to feel that way, but I, don't, I still don't know how I'm stealing customers from you. All right, you know what, bro? I'm going to have someone come down there all weekend and stand outside your fucking gym, handing out flyers for my gym for half price. Okay? Well, that's what you want to do, do it. All right, I will. And I'll give them free hand jobs. And I'm going to kick your ass as well. <laughs> <laughs> that was perfect. I am tight and ready. Damn, here we go. <sighs> What are you talking about? We're on the air? This is Ron? Absolutely. Get ready for the funniest damn prank call show there is. That's right, bitches. It's the Macron Show at macronshow.com. And if you don't like this, go and f*** yourself. Excuse me, sir. Can you tell me who you are? Who so call me? No, give me a break. What are you calling about? Who are you anyway? What the hell is this? Who is this? Aren't you having fun? And now, your host... Macron. 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 Shut up! 
Yeah. Shut up, everyone. Woo. It's the 27th of February, 23. On the old-fashioned calendar. Field Mouse just informed me it's their birthday. Happy birthday, Field Mouse. What a day. What a day to celebrate. Yay. Uh, you've just got to put up with me tonight. Hi, everyone in Discord. You've just got to put up with me tonight. Carpool is doing schoolwork. So I got some goddamn work done. But we have replaced her with a donation goal. See that sexy Thanks, donation you. goal there? You people need to donate. See money, thank you. Ragman, thank you as well. Uh, we have a donation goal going on, so everyone's been on at me for ages. Like, do a donation goal. Because it's been like a year since we did one. Believe it or not. Thank you, C-Money. It's been like a whole year, and uh, someone did send me this... Uh, okay, here it is. This chili challenge bullshit, so I have opened it already. This is the chili challenge. So you're supposed to... I guess you're supposed to play a game where you spin this wheel, right? But we're not really going to do that, because... You guys just want to see me eat the things, okay? So anyway, I opened them up just before the show, and they're pretty scary. They're like chocolate, right? And, like, I think half of them, or a certain amount of them, have, like, the world's hottest chili in them. And then a couple of them are, like, regular ones. And you're supposed to play the game. But there's 12 of them. There's 12 of these motherfuckers. So I figured, I don't know. Yeah, as as we... And I may have to run downstairs and get some milk. But as we go through the, uh... The donation goal is a thousand schmeckles. I've said it, I've said it quite light. And the plan is to buy the uh, the PlayStation VR 2 so we can stream some VR trolling. Which would be awesome. Which would be great. So, I don't know. Your request has been granted. If you want to see me suffer, macronshow.live forward slash tip. And also, if you are crazy enough to make a donation tonight, try and use the credit card slash debit card option because PayPal are being real assholes. I just got an email today saying, and I think it's because a couple of people... Not that this is a, a bad problem to have, but I think like Zero Hero and uh, Myers Tyler made some big donations this month. And it says that they've put a hold on any money over a certain amount for 21 days for like security. I looked into it. Apparently it's a regular thing. If you get like an unusual spike in activity, they can like hold your money. So I've sent them an email about it, but try and use the... Uh, Try and use the credit card slash debit card option. You just go to macronshow.live forward slash tip and don't choose PayPal. That'd be great. Yeah, they are real fuckers. Belfast, they're real dicks about it. It's all automated. I read online like it's automated, so... I've put in an appeal to have the amount raised. It says I've got like another 45 schmeckles left this month. And there's only like a day left of the month as well anyway. But it says I've got 45 schmeckles left this month. And then after that, everything goes on hold for 21 days. So what I may do is uh, once we get to like 50 schmeckles in donations, I might just remove PayPal from macronshow.live forward slash tip anyway. Yeah, DS said he was about to send me 10k on PayPal. <laughs> but yeah, don't do that, guys. Don't do that. So did Trainwreck. Yeah, thanks, Trainwreck. No, that's, uh, that's great. You can still send it. Oh, he already did. Ah, shit. 21 uh -huh. days. I mean, 21 days isn't the end of the world, but it's just annoying. So, uh, macronshow.live slash tip. Please try not to use PayPal. If it's going to be, if, if anybody's uh, feeling crazy enough to make a big donation that really wants to see me suffer, then uh, don't use PayPal is the main thing. Just bang your credit or debit card in, whichever one you've got attached to PayPal, and it all works the same anyway. But yeah, if we get many more donations, I'm gonna I'm gonna take it off there. Trainwreck, how are you doing? Hi. 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 I'm doing how about you? I'm good, thank you. Real good, yeah. Really well, really well. Um, we got some weird voicemails today. <gasps> yeah. Let's play them. I already been screening them earlier. I'm a bit worried about some of them now. A few okay. of these came in last night. I think someone was testing the voicemail last night. Oh. Um, let's see what they were doing. This came in at like 1 a.m. You see, and it's really... <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, 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 I'll believe it after. 
Yo, yo, yo. Oh, yeah. Oh. I, I don't know. Yeah, that sounds like a booty call to me. So it's just a standard message, huh? Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. If I Wait, was that Scobie in the background? Go off. Hmm. Don't know. That sounded like Scobie to me in the background there, with some guy. Did you guys hear <laughs> that? Yeah, that was it. Anyway, then like an hour later, this one came in. Uh oh. Seems to be for Ray. Uh oh. It's a bit weird, right? Yeah, uh, weird. My gayness. <laughs> my gayness. <laughs> really? I must kill you. <gasps> the the song I just died in your arms and just take another turn. Was that an actual I death threat? I you from your piss slit <laughs> to your gullet. Wow. The pain, I can assure you, will be exquisite. <laughs> Yikes. Ray, wow. I'm, I'm not sure if we need to tell someone, but that sounded like an actual death threat to me. I'm a bit... should, should we contact the authorities, Ray, for you? Ray, yeah, do you want us to probably call anyone, Probably the people Ray? we played the forest with. Yeah, it's probably someone we played the Sons of the Forest with. They're a little bit upset with Ray. Ah. Uh... Oh, no, another one. on a thousand walls. Our love making told and retold by our faithful believers. Right. I am a whisper in your sphincter. In your sphincter? <laughs> <laughs> really? Nothing. We shall die with our cocks in each other's mouths, Ray. Give them something to be haunted by. Come with me, Ray. Come with me and be my victim. Be my victim. Wow. Be my yeah. Victim. We better call someone. Drainwreck, call the guards. Yeah, I'm going to call the guards on him. <laughs> <laughs> Off with his head. <laughs> Jesus. Ray, you've got a stalker. All right, All right buddy. Thank you for <laughs> your number. We're going to forward it to the proper authorities. Yeah, now. We have, Thank you very we much. have the person's <laughs> number here. Uh, we are going to pass that on to the... <laughs> To the local uh, security investigator. Wait, let's see who we got now. Oh, it's the trash man. Hey, Mac, Ron. It's the trash man. Hi, the trash man. Um, Here we go. You know what? What? I could have moved on from the rosy jokes, but uh, I feel like you encouraged it. <laughs> so I need really? to tell you that Rosie O'Donnell is capable of Spitting, like you know how a llama spit. She's able to spit like hawk big loogies out of her. Obviously, her pussy flaps. <laughs> but the difference being that this is actually like uh. acid. So if she comes up to you and her her eyes go in the back of her head and the big giant mouth starts opening with all her rows of teeth like Pennywise, and her her legs open up and you just hear a. <laughs> you better run because if that green slime touches your body that comes out of that cooch if that touches you you're a you're dead you're a dead man it's just thanks for that trash man really good really good update there uh, I've just been alerted that that was Candyman that was calling was that the original Candyman that was stalking Ray? Because that makes sense now. Hey guys, I'm a big fan of the show. Uh, well, Deviant yeah, had a look. I was, I was wondering. I was gonna say something. Wait, hold on. Fan of the show, Ragman here. I was, Ragman. I was, I was wondering. I was gonna say something, but I forgot. I, 
I wrote it on a piece of paper, and I don't know where. Hang on, wait. Let me just go upstairs. I think I have it in a little. Okay. Hang on. All right, Ragman. <laughs> okay, I've got it in my little shelving unit here. <clears throat> Good. Okay, there we go. I'm just gonna head back down. God, this place is so messy. Oh, fiddlesticks! Ah! Oh. Fuck! <laughs> He's falling down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Ragman! <laughs> I hope you managed to get back up, Ragman. Yeah, I hope he's oh, alright. Wow. Uh, hopefully, we'll pray for you. We'll, we'll pray, pray for, for you, you, buddy. Thoughts and prayers. Yeah. Hopefully the next person's Dale and he's going to talk some sense around here. Alright. Hi guys, Dale here, here with the Mando. Oh, Formerly Trump War Room. A little special presentation here. Uh, Belfast, can you uh, let the gimp out? Yeah. What am I reading? Read this right here, Kevin. Kevin. Uh, Jeff and Dale had love that few would know. They made it the manhole sex line. It was time to show. They began to twerk and laugh with glee. Dale with his big booty. Jeff with his micro penis. To start to get amorous. Invite some danger in. Dale starts to jack off and Jeff just grins. A love shared so freely and honestly. Dale and Jeff and their manhole sex line fantasy. Wow. No one knew of their affair, but could feel the love and care. Though some may view it wrong, nope, not Jeff and Dale's song. Though others question their interactions, I never laughed with elation. Jeff and Dale had a love that knew no bounds, and together they shared their manhole sex line rounds. And fuck you, Ron. <laughs> Back in the box, Kevin. <laughs> okay, guys, go to macronshow.com forward slash donate. <clears throat> Toodles. Thank you, Dale. Thanks, Dale, for finally talking some sense. Apart from that whole gimp thing. Thank you. <laughs> hey, Jeff. Ah, you know who this is. God, here it's we Tommy go. Tommy Wright. It's Tommy. Jeff, Jeff, Jeff. When you ever learn, Jeff, you think you can pay for an eight ball of cocaine with $1,000 in Monopoly money. <gasps> think you're going to get away with it. Hey, Jeff, the last time somebody tried that, they had uh, a few limbs rearranged. Some of them might have been broken. Some of them might have turned up missing. Now, Jeff, I'm going to give you till 7 o'clock to make the decision on which one of your limbs you want to keep and which ones you don't have a problem getting rid of, Jeff. Or, if you know what's best for you, you come up with not only the thousand dollars, but uh, five hundred dollars on top of that in interest. Not to mention the four fifty that you originally owed me, Jeff. Hey, Jeff, I lost all my patience with you. So you got till seven o'clock to come up with my bread, Jack. And uh, if you don't, well, you gonna have more than just a problem with Tommy Wright. Uh, Scoby is off tonight too. Don't make both of us pull up on you, Jeff. Come up with my fucking money, or wow. else, fucking crackhead. Wow, there's a lot of threats. There's a lot of anger on the voicemail tonight. What is going on? Everybody... Yeah, what's going on with that, guys? Yeah, settle down. Come on, who's that? Only love for the Macron show. Missy Elliott's fad. Ah, no. You need to see. You need to leave her alone. Stop her act. How I feel? I went out and bought some ice cream. Well, I didn't go out. I sent my nurse, who I'm paying twenty dollars a day. Raspberry ice cream. It's healthy. It's got raspberry in it. Oh, shit's good. I'm not fat. I'm pimple. Oh, okay. Missy Elliott's biggest fan there. Literally biggest fan. Thanks for calling in. Oh, hello. It's the Cardinal over here. Wait, wishing everyone a happy, great day. And also to give everyone a warning that there are travelers about. Oh, my brother Ray is off to chasing him, but uh, I'm not sure what he's at with it because uh, it seems he's, he's running with his pantaloons while they're basically around his ankles at, like, and, uh, well, well, I guess we'll see what he gets with them. Good day. Hmm. All right, thanks, Cardinal. 
What else we got? That was a blank message. Who this? Who's this? Who's this? That's what you fucking sound like, you prick. You big bitch. Honk your horn. Honk it. Ah. There you go. That worked. Let's go. That didn't work. Fuck. You fucking Wow. Well, my friend Big Big Billy back here, the goat throat. This, yeah. He, he. Oil he got the, the $5 yes. subscription. He's pretty pleased with it. What do you think? Yeah. Pretty Quite good. Pleased. Macron.com slash, uh, <laughs> donate, or no. Macron.com slash buy me a coffee, you buy me a coffee and throw it at my cock. Throw it at my cock. Damn British people, Hold Colin. Hold on again! There you go. Give them a tip. Big tip. Boom. Big dick boom. Big there dick. You go. Big boom. dick boom. Honk it again. Ah, oh, there we go. There you go. Did you, did you hear that nice British car horn as well? Did you hear that shit? That was a British car horn. Ah, uh, alright. Thanks everyone for those messages. Thank God it's over. Let's check in with some meetings, train wreck. See how they're doing, okay? Perfect, sir. <gasps> the wireless customer you are calling is not... <laughs> Oh no! Wait. Wrong number. Well, that was the moderator's number, but it doesn't work. I'm ah. gonna, I'm gonna use it anyway, cause fuck it. Of course. Ah, uh, this whole meeting's fucked. Look, it doesn't even work. Fucking get out of there. Hey, uh, check what I wrote in chat. I gotta send a yeah. message. Oh, Is the no four way. two eight five? No around? way. Jeff got a girlfriend. Yeah. Ah, uh, you spoiled it for the listener. I, I, <laughs> <what>? <laughs> Somebody sent me an audio recording and she answered the phone, jumps in the background, tell him the fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> that's Jeff. That's a bit, yeah, that's him, all right. That's him, all right. <laughs> oh, we have to get her number. Priority number one is get her number, obviously. Of course. Do you have a plan? Uh -huh. Welcome. I'm sure you're you brewing a plan in your head. I'm, right I'm always oh, brewing a plan in my you're head. Helping people around the world. <laughs> that's great, my friend. Always. Please announce yourself. Them and move on. Hi. I don't want to crazy things. Hi. Just can't. Okay, I'll end. Thank you. Hi, everyone. We're going to. Hi. Uh, somebody else is sharing, so please, please mute oh, yourself. Oh, pressure. Oh, did, did yes. you say I could share? Donate, you people. Hot mouth no, run. Somebody else was sharing. Oh, my apologies. I'm so sorry. Oh, you, I... have, you have to wait. Yeah, the, mes okay. the, the message said I was supposed to announce myself when I joined. It said, please announce yourself. Um, no. Yes, it did. No. Yes, it did. It said, please announce yourself. I'm sorry. Can it did you, it for me, you, too. Um, I'm sorry. It did it for me, too. Can you shut it? Muted. Goodbye. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, damn it. I wanted to ascertain your claim, you know? Like, to back it up? It did say to announce myself. Yes, it does. Though. Yeah, like... They don't know what they are on about. Why Why would it say that if they don't want me to do it? Yeah. It's a good question. <laughs> you should ask them. <laughs> you should rejoin and mention that it said it again. <laughs> and insist that they were wrong all along. Thank you for calling our... If you are the moderate, there are currently 25 other participants in the conference. Enormous... Amends to him. You are now unmuted. I'm reminded that, of that. And also, I wanted to say that um, step 12, carrying the message and being... You are now muted. Great use to us. You are now unmuted. OA member from the phone mm, line that happens... Yeah, you sound fat, honey. How big is that ass? Oh, back that shit. Shot. <laughs> 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 That's a good one. Oh, all right. Uh, God, there's a whole bunch of them tonight. Ramona. I haven't seen Ramona's name on here for a while. She's the moderator. Welcome and thank you. If you are the host, Please announce yourself. See?
Hello. You were right. Hi. 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 Hi, everyone. Goodbye. Really? <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, God. That's so Diaz mean just to sent us. you the clip. That's Diaz just so sent mean you the clip. Oh, Diaz's yeah. girlfriend clip. Let's, uh, let me check this out here. Yeah. He sent you the clip. I want motherfucker. <laughs> Who's this? Who's this? Who's this cunt? Wow. Who are you? I don't know. You a cunt. Uh, Jeff, you found a crack whore? Did Jeff find a crack whore? Who's the crack whore? Wow. They sounded wasted. Every Everyone on that yeah. call sounded wasted, to be fair. <laughs> I love when you imitate him, you know? Like you do the... <laughs> like, you know how you laugh? <laughs> you know, like a, it you're not so you're, funny when you do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that dumbass! That's perfect. Oh, that is his man. laugh. You nailed his laugh, but in your accent, that was amazing. Uh, well, I cannot Thank wait for the book freak. to be published. I cannot wait. The wisdom of Jeff. If you are the host. <laughs> That's the title. Maybe. Oh, oh great. Ah, they didn't even bother with this one. Fuckers. You could you could name it the pearls of Jeff, you know, like pearls of wisdom, and oh. like a picture of him, but without teeth. <laughs> you know, like a play on word because of his he doesn't have uh, any teeth because of the crack. Is it true? I don't know. He has no, he has no feet. <laughs> <laughs> no teeth. No, oh. no, no uh, denture. You know, like I uh, thought the, you said he has no feet. Like his feet fell off. <laughs> The crack, no, no. the crack made his feet fall off. He, yeah. did, he did, yeah, I'm sure he did. That's what I heard as well. Train wreck, give him a call and ask him if he can help you move apartments. Oh yeah, where to where? I know, I need an address though. Just say uh, downtown Vancouver. Just downtown. Ah, uh, why is it going? So uh, He's not on his new new number, is he? Ah, uh, maybe so. Mm. You have reached the. I think ah. he just turns his phone off at, at this time on a Monday. Like, yeah, he, knows. he learned. He's been burned too many times. <laughs> He's burned to a crisp. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, no, look. He's just turned his phone off, the fucker. Yeah. He's ruining all the fun. Yeah, he's not a good player. That's for sure. You have reached the voicemail box of... Do you remember when he recorded his message Sorry, by seeing his number? No more... Ah. Ah. Yeah. 604 722. <laughs> <laughs> he did it like in an ominous think, voice. I think some Chinese guy has his old number now, by the way. Do you remember when we called really? it? Oh, yeah. you maggot. Hey, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff. Hey. I need to move. Hey. Banchard, you shut up. He's just, he just listens to uh, really. <laughs> Yeah. Who did we call? Some Chinese lady has the 778 number. Yeah. Remember, uh, who has the 604, though? Who has the 604? Not her. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> Trainwreck, call this hotel and book a room, but mention the word banchoed. Of course. But Me and my right. banchoed friend. <laughs> oh god wow they're very busy you know <laughs> hello i would like to book a room My name is Ben. Can I book it with you? No, you have to come here, sir. Okay, I, I'm at the airport right now. I just wanted to uh, to put my name on the room, and when I come by, I can uh, finalize it with you. Can I put my name? Can you take down my name, please? No, you have to come here, sir. I yeah, listen, you. listen, listen. You're a guest in, the, in this country. You need to take down my name, all right? 
So it? you want to take my first name is Ben. My last name is Chud. Full name is Ben okay. Chud. My the name of my wife is Ben Key. Lorde. Ben Key Lorde. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it sounded so far. Like if I was to hold my mic like, like this and I was to talk like this. What a dumb cunt. No, you need to come here, sir. Uh, like, did. How, how was she holding the phone? Was she holding it upside down? You, like yeah, maybe. To his, her mouth? She's got a very <laughs> old, broken down phone, you know. <laughs> That's because she threw it so many times on the wall because of you guys. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> you owe her a phone. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get to some business okay. here. Sure. Sorry about the last call, it wasn't so funny. Don't worry, it was her fault, not yours. Uh, right, we're gonna get to some corporate office complainer calls now. Let's deal with this shit. Do remember, if you want to see me suffer tonight, we have the chilies ready. So I reckon every hundred dollars or so that we go, I'm gonna eat, like... I don't know, there's twelve of them, so maybe I'll eat a couple of them. You can watch me really suffer. But the chilies are ready, guys. The chilies are ready. Macronshow.live forward slash tip. Make that shit happen. Alright, uh, there's a bunch in the show chat here, right? Who am I, uh, oh, don't go into the Zoom meeting. Why? We had, a, we had a Zoom meeting and apparently I shouldn't go in. Oh, you can't unmute. Oh, fuck that then, that's boring. Nope, no, no, we need to be able to unmute. Now, what we got going on here in the show chat, we had, uh, we had some woman complaining that she got fat shamed on a flight, but we're still trying to find her number. We have the number of the guy that fat shamed her, right? Uh, now, what is this? What is this business? This guy with the video. Do I need to play this video? What is this shit? How do I get sound on the video? If you're going to be texting people, talking about the person next to you and their size, you might want to turn your fat down. Cause it's at like a hundred. I can see it. Yeah. Just wanted to make sure you, you you knew that friend. Have a good day. Oh god, that person's horrible. So that's the person that got fat shamed, right? Okay. I think we have their number. Oh shit. So is that so is that Jonathan Higgins? That's the one. But I'm not 100, percent but I think it is. Okay. So this dude got fat shamed on a flight. He could see the person texting shit about him. It looks like we have both their numbers. So. I'm going to try and get them fighting now. Uh, and they were on a... Uh, we definitely have John Paul's no And they were on a Delta flight, fella. right? Okay, let's try and get Jonathan in here. Get his side of the story, first of all. We definitely have Maury's number. Yes, hi. Am I speaking with uh, Jonathan? Yes. Hi there. I'm calling from the corporate liaison team with Delta. How are you doing? Good. Uh, reason for the phone call. I was actually made aware of, uh, I guess, a complaint that you had lodged via social media and also a video that you had posted regarding an incident on one of our flights. Uh, have I got the correct person? No. Oh, that wasn't you. No. Nope. Ah, uh, well, can you stop calling here, please? I don't want any more sales calls, okay? What's that? I said, can you stop calling here, please? I don't want any more sales calls. I'm not a salesman. I haven't called you. Well, just take, me off, take me off your list, please. <laughs> Damn it. Not the right Jonathan. It was a Jonathan. <gasps> I'm going to try all the numbers anyway, because if we do manage to pull this one off, it's going to be hilarious, so... Ah! Ah, shit. Let's we'll see if Ronnie can find anything. Yeah, see what, you, see what you can do, lads. Oh, this one rings too. Let's, let's see. Uh... Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Five. No, all right. All right, see if we can find another one. Uh, Sherry's having a problem with Comcast. She actually tweeted asking for their customer service phone number. Like, you couldn't find that on Google. It's what we have Google for, stupid. You've reached 
Sherry Hart. Please leave a message. That sounds like the right person to me. Hello? Hello? Hi, Sherry. I'm calling from Comcast Xfinity Customer Support. How are you doing? Fine. Uh, reason for the call, I saw that you sent us a tweet requesting our phone number. Uh, I just thought I'd reach out personally and see if there's anything we can do to help. Well, I mean, when you are when you don't have service, what are you supposed to do? Why can't I have a phone number? It's... There's no phone number anywhere on the freaking website. Yes, there is. I can't find it online. Well, it's 1-800-COMCAST. It's all over the website. Um, okay, I mean... it's not on mine. I'm thinking yes, it is. It's, it's, right it's, it's right on the website, oh. ma'am. I don't know what's wrong with you, but it's right there. Excuse me. I'm on the website right this minute. It's always been 1-800-COMCAST for many years, many, many years. It's in all our ad campaigns. It's in every email that we send, okay. and it's on our website. All right. Well, I'm on the website, Xfinity.com, correct? So if you're on the Xfinity. website, com? if you're on the website, then your internet must be working too. No, I am uh, hotspotting on my phone. Okay. Let Jesus. me... Excuse me? Well, don't call me a liar. There's no need for the blasphemy just because you're too dumb to find a phone number, lady. Fuck you. You're not Comcast. I'm Excuse me? What? <laughs> what a fucking <laughs> moron. <laughs> See if she tweets about it. Keep an eye on her Twitter. I'm going to call her about her. reach Sherry Hart, please leave a message and I'll get back to you. Please enter your password. I'm sorry, that is not the... I'm sorry, that is not... Sorry, you're... What a bitch. Fine, fine, get out of here. Take five oil change. What is it we do here, train wreck at Take Five Oil Change? I bet you it's oil changes. Uh, Tom says he's frustrated. Uh, trying to get a. Uh, the rock shield has fallen off the past three oil changes. Hmm. Is that that little bit of rubber that stops rocks hitting the wheel trim? Is that what he's on about? I don't fucking know. Let's get him in here and find out. Get in here, Tom. Hello? Hi, is that Tom? Yes. Tom, hi. I'm calling from the corporate office with Take 5 Oil Change. How are you doing? I'm um, frustrated. Uh, sure. So I understand you have a complaint. This has now been escalated to me here at uh, corporate. Um, can you tell me what happened? So the, this actually started three visits ago. Okay. Where we took the car in, and when we left, the rock pan fell down. Right. So we went back. They wire tied it up because they didn't have the correct parts to do it and said, the next time we come in, we'll fix it for you. Uh, the next time we went in, we still don't have the parts. We'll wire tie it up again. It fell off again. Just took it back this afternoon. They said they put some, some clips in and one wire tie, and it fell off again. Hmm. And each time it drags on the ground, so I have to crawl underneath it and try and wire tie or stick this thing back up to be able to get back over to the shop. We're just there. They just uh, said they put some more clips in, and it won't fall again. But, I, you know, I don't trust that. Then the second issue is four phone calls today. And the first phone call was to the store where they said we'll put we'll put you through to the, the manager i get a voicemail that's full and then it hangs up on me oh no that's no good then i then i call back 
um, and I get a, another customer service, and I'm talking to them, and well, no, I didn't talk to them. I'm, I'm on hold, and it disconnects me. The third time, I'm back there, and I told her, I said, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm fed up. I'd like to talk to your general manager. She hung up on me. I, I, it just blew oh my, my mind. Oh, my goodness. Okay. All right. Let me see what I can get uh, situated for you here at corporate level. So just to confirm, what kind of vehicle is it that you have? It's a, uh, a Honda um, Accord. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, sorry. Honda Civic. A Honda Civic. And um, what year is that? Yeah, 2006, 2016. 2016, okay. Let me just pull up some information here so that I can see what we can do to help. It sounds like the whole uh, the whole thing needs to be replaced. Um, let me see what it's asking for here. Ah, okay. Um, okay, are you near the vehicle right now? No, I'm not. Oh, My husband has it and I am at, I'm at work. Oh, gosh, okay. Um, would he be able to look at some information on the vehicle for me? Do you have a, a number I could reach him on? Um, yeah, he should actually be almost back because he was, he was almost to work and he had to call off and tell him he'd be late so he could take it back and get it fixed. Right. Um, okay. So hang on. Hang on one. Yep. Hang on one second. No problem. And what's his name? Just going to put you on speaker while I get his phone number for you. Okay. And what's his name? Uh, Cosmo lot, Ketwit, but you can call him Artie, A R T Y. Okay, and uh, yeah, just his number. Yep, I'm just trying to get there. So. Yep. Seven two. Okay, that's great. So, yeah, I'm going to give him a call in a few minutes. If you could maybe drop him a text message to let him know that we'll be calling. And we just need him to look up uh, a little uh, a serial number on the actual uh, unit itself. And uh, what I'm going to do is try and organize a courtesy replacement for you, okay? Great. Thank you very much. All right, no problem. So I'll call him in a few minutes. I'll give you time to drop him a text so he knows it's a, a genuine call and everything. Okay, thank All you. All right, thank you very much. Bye-bye. <laughs> nice one, Ronnie. So yes, he's great. When he said the name, he's like cosmonaut. <laughs> so he's married to some bancho dude. That's, that's <laughs> what I heard. I heard a fucking cosmonaut. And cosmonaut. Like, what the fuck? That's what it's. Is that a splash like. guard? It's, yeah. I assume it's to keep rocks from yeah. chipping the actual frame of the from car. From the engine. Right? Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Um, it's, so, it's called engine under cover. That's what it is. Yeah. What, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have him remove it to get the serial number for me, and then he won't be able to. <laughs> <laughs> you got to make him crawl under the car. You yeah. Can't remove that shit. There I'm is no way. He, he's going to have to get a screwdriver and remove it. <laughs> yeah, a flathead screwdriver. No, as for Robertson number two, he's not going to have one. Aha. Uh -huh. For what? A Robertson. Uh, it's a square head uh, screwdriver. Really? A Robert? Yeah. Huh? What? Robertson is the name of the inventor of that screwdriver. Like Philip said, it's a cross, you know? Hmm. Torx is a star. Robertson is a square. Hmm. Well, I'll have to look Great. into that. Some idiot... <laughs> <laughs> Some idiot tried to call during that show from Honolulu, Hawaii. 808 number. Any idea who that was? It uh, was Hawaii. Colin Buck, let's check. I have the number in it. I don't think I, I actually don't think we've called anyone in Hawaii. Usually we don't. Uh, call him a Kanaka. Do you think they're on the Big Island? That's this was the number they called. I'll call and see who it is. Probably some bollocks, right, train wreck? That's a scam. Yeah, probably. It's a scammer. Yeah, disconnected. Ah. Mahalo. That's in Honolulu. So. Ah.
The person you are calling is currently unavailable. Please. All right, whatever, whatever. You were correct. You were bunch correct. of bollocks. That's what I said. Bollocks to you. All right, so let's call Cosmonaut, aka. <laughs> Should I call him Cosmonaut when he answers? We call him Professor Cosmonaut. <laughs> make, him, ma make him go back. Make him go back to the fucking old change, please. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, that's a good yeah, idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell yeah. him we forgot to attach something in the back. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah. Hi. Is that Cosmonaut? Yes, sir. Hi. Hello, can you hear me? Hi, Cosmonaut. Yeah, I'm calling from the corporate office with Take 5 Oil Change. All right, I'm speaking right now, sir. Yes, I'm speaking too. I'm, uh, I was just talking to your husband there about his problem with the rock shield. Hey, do you know All what right. I'm talking about? So he said yeah, you'd yeah, be able to help us out with some information. Um, uh, are you near the vehicle right now? Are you by the vehicle? I'm done fixing that. I'm driving to work, but I can talk. Oh, so you're... Oh, are you in the vehicle right now? Yeah, I'm in the vehicle right now, yes. Uh, okay, what time do you have to be at work for? Uh, I'm driving to work now. Okay, you, do you need anything? I can look it up on the paper. It's okay. Yeah, I we... can stop on... Well, yeah. we, we actually have reason to believe that the rock shield may not be attached properly, so we need you to drive over to take five oil change. And one of our guys is going to go ahead and take a look at it for you, okay? So yes, uh, but 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 not but not now. I'm 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 just finished fixing, and then he just tie up, and then I go back to work now. And may may maybe on Thursday on Friday. No, 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 no. This isn't a. Tom said this needs to be done immediately. He said if I call you, you would drive over there straight away. Because it's uh. I it's just a... I just did. I just did. Right, well, you need to come back. You need to come back. That's the problem. It could fall okay. off at any minute. It's very dangerous. So, how long till you can get back here? In about 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Okay. Do me a favor. Give me a call at this number when you pull in, okay? And I will arrange Sir? for someone to come out and service. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, 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 ho. Hold on one second. Because ho, ho, ho. I need to work right but okay i i just i just came back from there and i have an oil change at 2 p.m and then i go fix the thing no 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 you need to go over there straight away you need to go there now straight away not in 20 minutes okay because they tom, they said it goes to seven tom yeah tom said tom said you could go over there right now Okay. Okay, hold on. Okay. Yeah, Tom said you okay. had to do it right now. Okay? Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. How? So can you turn around and go straight back there? Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. All right. I'm going to turn around right now. Okay. 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 All right. And then when you, when you pull in, just give me a call on this number, okay? Call this number, and I will have somebody come out and service you straight away, okay? All right. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye. Call Thank me. You. Call me back. All right. Bye bye. Okay. 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 Bye bye. Okay. 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 Bye bye. Okay. 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 You were saying okay. 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 So much. What the fuck? Yeah. Tom promised. Tom promised you would do it right now. Right now. He said. I'm gonna make him pull in and just start honking the horn. <laughs> yeah. And maybe wave his hand in the hair like yeah. yeah. Jump up and down on the car, please, sir, so we can see you. Jump on the hood! Oh, God. Oh, did you notice when he said, uh, I'm talking I'm talking now? Like, what did he mean by that? I know, right? I'm talking like, listen now. listen to me? Like, like, hold on a minute. <laughs> oh, I'm talking now too, sir. Yeah, what an asshole. <laughs> what a dick. All right, let's deal with Ken's problem at Dell first of all, and hopefully that idiot's going to call me back. Your call has been forwarded ah, to an auto. Ah, ah, ah. Your call has been forwarded. By the way, DS, let me know if you can find any paparazzi with loud ringtones. Your call. <laughs> They're back. Any with good ringtones? Yeah, we've been doing some on the supporter shows, and I can. Fuck yeah. Uh, come on, Artie. Huh? Who's who? I just found a uh, Comslot, whatever his name is. Comslot. I don't know. 
<laughs> Check out the picture of him. Is that him? Yeah. Wow. Look, look at his pants. Yep. Like, is it? Is that his dick? I was wondering that. Yeah, is that his finger <laughs> or his dick? Like, he's push. He's like pushing his finger out of his pants or something. <laughs> <laughs> That's Hi, much flattering for him. This number is okay. using RoboKiller to screen their calls. Please say your name and the That's purpose of your call, it. and I'll try to connect you. Hi, this is Ron calling from Dell. Thanks. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Come on, RoboKiller. Oh shit, someone's calling me. Ring, 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 ring. Corporate office, can I help you? Yes, this is Tom Carlock. We just spoke. Hi. Yeah, we, we just spoke about the, the car. Uh-huh. How can I help you? Um, yeah, so so the dealership, or I mean the, the store, called Art, or did you call Art? Uh, it looks like the manager over at the store called him. Is there a problem? Yeah. He what? told me he had to turn around and come back right this minute if he wants it fixed. Oh, he did. Okay. Yeah, he's, I mean, he's, he's, he, he's already 12 miles away just pulling it to work. Oh, God, yeah, he's going to have to go back then, I guess. I didn't... Re you had said he was, like, ready to, to deal with this. I think that... Yeah, no, no. Yeah, no, he can't, he can't go back right now. I mean, he had left work. He was almost at work the last time when the noise started. He went back. He told me he'd be late. He went back to take care of it. They they did what they did, and then, you know, he's he turned around and went, went back to work. Well, the problem is that the guy over at the store... Um, he has just informed me that the vehicle may not be safe because it wasn't attached properly. He's 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 worried it's going to fall off at any moment. So, yeah, that is why he does, I guess. I'm just reading the notes he put on here. Looks like he installed the wrong kind of clips on there. And, uh, okay. yeah, the manager there, he's not very happy. So he, we need you to go back so we can check that out. Well, he, he can at the moment. So um, ah, other God. options? I mean, I could, I could, I could have... You know, no, I'm afraid. I mean, if you're there, if you're I mean, if you're not willing to bring the vehicle back, we would have to just mark this as resolved. I'm afraid. No, you're not going to mark it as resolved. As you just told me that it's an unsafe vehicle, so now you want me to call my attorney. No, I want you to bring the vehicle back. We can't bring it back this very moment. Well, then we can't help you, can we? I can't do the impossible, well, sir. I don't have a well, teleporter. We, we, Hello. So, so yeah. So what you're telling me is if we don't forego a day of pay yeah and bring it back to you to get it fixed Look, right now so uh, it, it's to... you're, you're going to you're going to market it resolved and move on right yeah we have to sir if you're not willing to bring the vehicle back i mean uh, i am willing to bring the vehicle back just not this very moment if your husband has a crappy job where he gets paid by the day i can't really do anything about that that's that's not Excuse our concern. Excuse me. Our concern is the safety of the vehicle and the passengers. Excuse me. Huh? Who? What did you just say to me? I said there's nothing. He has a crappy job. What? Is that what you just said to me? Were you that rude to me? I was not rude to you, sir. I'm just trying to explain. Yeah. The no. 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 You were. You're absolutely rude. Now. Now. Who is your? Who do you report to? Well, I have several managers, sir. I can transfer yeah, you. Yeah, great. I would like to speak to one of those. So could I have one of their names? Let, let, and a phone number to contact them. It, it, it's going to be the same phone number. If you can bear with me, I'll put you on a brief hold and I'll transfer you through to my manager, okay? Great. Thank you. All right. Prick. Your call is very important to us. Please hold. Hey Alex, it's Ron. Yeah, this is Alex. What's going on, Ron? Yeah, I got a guy on hold right now on line three. Uh, he's really pissed. He's just been yelling at me. Um, dude's got a problem where the, uh, you know, the little bit of plastic that stops the rocks when you have the underneath. Uh, the, the, yeah, it's the uh, engine undercover, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's got some crappy old Honda and it kept falling off and he's blaming us for it. Uh, they've asked him to go back so they can replace it for free. Now he doesn't want to drive back there. 
Um, but he also doesn't want to mark it as resolved, and now he's yelling at me and being abusive on the phone. Can I? Oh my God. Can I ask? Uh, he did well, ask I, for a manager. Me. Do you so know that I can actually hear Would you? it be okay if I just transfer him through to you? Yeah, I'll handle it. Yeah, transfer All right. over. I, I just warn you, he's a real prick, okay? Uh, I'll deal with him. He's Don't on, worry. He's on line three, so just do star three. I will. Thank you, Ron. Hello, this is Alex. How can I help you? Do you realize that that conversation you just had with the previous person, I heard every word? When he called I'm me sorry? a prick? When he said, Who? You know, this, this gentleman has been so rude to me. Who are you talking I don't about? Know if his, I don't know if it's recorded or not, that you can go back and check. But he has I been haven't heard anything. Rude to us. Who, did, who, do you, who did you talk to? Recording who, who deleted. Who was the gentleman that just transferred me to you? That was one of my customer service reps. Right. That's the gentleman. Oh, my God. He, what he, happened? So, 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 well, hang on a second. When he was just okay. talking to you a few moments ago, right? Briefing you on what was you were about to walk into, right? Okay. Did you know that I heard every word he said? That's impossible. No, it's not. Did he not call me a prick? No. Right at the end. Yes, he no, did. No, he did not. Because you know no, what? He did not. I'm recording now. Okay? Why would so you here. be recording? Here's what happened. The man told me uh -huh. that we needed to go back to the shop right now. Right this minute. Yeah. And That's we're the not right way to do to it. Right yes, back, because, right this because there is an issue with the vehicle, so we want to fix it right away. I, there is I, nothing yeah, wrong I understand with that. you do. But we're both at work. Okay. We're 12 miles away from it now. That's we it, only 12 miles away. That's like they, a six minutes away. It. And now I was told they put the wrong parts on to fix it. Okay. At and the so shop. they called and you. That's why they want they, it back there immediately. It's because yeah. you put the wrong parts on. That's the right way to do it. Yeah, what's wrong with that? Okay, not a problem. I can't Can't go you back bring the car right in? Now. We're both at work. Can then you have your wife maybe drive it back? Then the gentleman says... Yeah, I can't help it if your husband has a crappy job and gets paid your, by the day. Wait, your husband? Oh, I thought yes. your wife's driving the vehicle. Okay, uh, okay, okay. That, that's exactly what he said to me. Now, can you, uh, can you honestly what understand kinda, why I'm upset? What kind of what, what, uh, what, uh, what job does your husband have? What difference does that make? He's well, at so work. So we can determine if it's can't... a crappy job or not. What's that? No, I, I just want to determine if it's a crappy one or not. So, so you got to be kidding me. Yeah, go ahead. You, you got you to be kidding me. You, you, you want to know if it's a crappy job? Well, because you say your husband works a crappy job, so I wanted to know what no, kind of job. No, that's what your person said to me. No, you your just told me. You just told to me, me your husband's got a crappy job. He's, your person said to me that my oh, husband has a crappy job. Okay, and what kind of job know, does your husband you have? Know what the job is so you can determine yes. if it's crappy? Yes. You're, he's a customer service rep. So it's a crappy job. Oh, so you think your people are crap? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, anyone that works with customer okay. services. Okay. Okay. okay, so I can see where this is going. I can see where this is going. Okay, so anyway, so it, when can so, you bring the vehicle so now, back? Now that we know, now that we know that you guys put the wrong parts on. Mm. Okay, now that we know you did. If anything happens before we get back, okay, there will be a loss because gonna... you've already admitted you put the wrong parts on. That's why we want the vehicle back right away so we can fix the issue. But if you okay. if you don't so bring how, it right away, the then wait, wait. you're holding so any responsibility drive, if something happens. The vehicle is not safe to drive, is what you're saying, right? What do you mean it's not? Yeah, it's a safe to it's it's safe to drive. That's just a cover. What's going to happen? The, the only thing is the thing may fall down and it's going to flap on the road, and that's it. Nothing worse can happen than this. What do you think is going to happen? The engine is going to fall off or something? Don't worry. So, <laughs> so then, what's the difference if he brings it back today or tomorrow? Well, because, because you're only today open for another hour. 
So by the time yeah. uh, he's able to arrange, even if he could, to get out so of work. So he's 12 miles he away. That, over there, he's 12 miles closed. away. That's 15 minutes. So he can be here in 15 minutes. If he runs down the stairs and, and where, so where, from where, his crappy job, he can be here in 20 minutes. I'm not at the, the store, no. This? I'm not at so the store, So how do you no. know how long it takes to get from St. Pete Beach to 34th and 5th? You just told me your wife is 12 miles away, didn't you? Do you think do you think you do 12 miles in 15 minutes? Yes. Yeah, you can. Then you unless, obviously don't know the area. Well, unless Good unless you your can. wife is unless your wife is Asian and doesn't know how to drive, and it's that's a different story. But okay, so <clears throat> I'm gonna take. I am gonna take to the Twitters. I am gonna take everything on you guys. What? No, 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 no. Let's okay. fix the issue. Don't okay. take it to Twitter. Twitter won't be no, able excuse, to help you. Excuse me. Did you not just insult? Huh? A racist insult. A racist Who? insult. Right there. What do you mean, racist insult? Unless I was referring to the Asian, Asian drivers. Drive. Yes, Asian the Asian drivers drive. being really racist? bad drivers. No, it's not a racist. That's a fact. I haven't seen in my life a single Asian person that can drive a vehicle. Oh, I can't. I can't. I, I can't wait to post that one. I can't wait to post that one. Well, then we're not going to be able to resolve the issue. I think I'm going to mark this as resolved. So any future visits, actually, I'm going to put something on your account here. So every time you come over here and we may refuse service. Okay. I don't think yeah, we need a customers let's like this. Yep. So, and then, and then, and then watch what I start doing. Yeah. We don't need over entitled currents like this uh, being as customers. So. So are you're, you going to bring the vehicle know, or you're, not? You're, you're very lucky that I'm a gentleman and I don't stoop to your level and start you're insulting you. Okay. You're okay. very lucky. No, it's okay. I'm used to it. No, 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 no. No, don't worry. Don't worry. We'll see how far this goes. Can I ask you another, one, another question before we leave? Venture! Oh, there he is. <laughs> right of rude, wow. man. To sweet for run, ne did never, did never anything wrong. Wow. Must I had? Joe, how Scobie, I was for the about donation. to ask him this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, who's Kenneth? Kenneth Chavos. He tried to call. Oh. During that call, yeah. Uh, oh, Ken. Hold on, hold on. I, I've seen that. Uh, seen that name before. That's Dell. That's I've the Dell guy. That's the Dell guy. Yeah, yeah, Chavos. Yeah. Let's see what he wants. Also, you can join the Zoom afterwards. Oh shit! Yeah, there's a Zoom as well. Just see all this asshole. Hello. This is Ken. Hi, Ken. I'm calling from Dell Customer Support. How are you doing? Oh, I'm a little frustrated. <laughs> okay. Tell me what's been hop on. Okay. So I bought a Dell dock when I bought my latest laptop, my um, fourth XPS. Um, and I, I forgot. I actually bought it through... I think because of the delivery times, I bought it through, um, it was new, but I ordered it through Amazon. And it says visit the Dell store, but um, maybe it didn't come from Dell directly. I don't know. Anyway, that was November 29. Um, it, it never, it had a problem with the Ethernet. Uh, it kept giving me the blue screen of death, I finally had to quit using Ethernet and just use Wi-Fi. Um, mm. And then I called in. I called in and spent a lot of time with people. I, I just absolutely, it was a frustrating experience. Um, they sent what was supposed to be a refurbished one, and what they sent was a beat-up, scuffed-up thing that did not work at all. So I just... Mm put it back in the box and sent it back. Um, and now the dock that I have has completely quit working. Um, I have three monitors on it. One monitor went kind of like it just started, it, it started doing weird things and then the whole thing shut down and it, it won't, it won't power any of my monitors now. So I've got a big three monitor set up on it and uh, it, it, it's just not doing anything. Okay, and have you tried turning it off and on again? Yeah, I, I, I've disconnected. I've reset. I've restarted the the computer multiple times. I've unplugged the power to everything. 
including the monitors, let it all sit, read on it. Um, you know, what's funny is if I go to uh, display settings, it shows that the three monitors are there, but they're just blank. They Nothing I do. In fact, I, I went, we got two of them unplugged. I thought, well, maybe it'll just run just the HDMI monitor. Mm. Uh, but no, it, it won't do anything. I, I, I get nothing out of it at all. I'm just stuck with just my laptop screen at this point. Are you sure the monitors are turned on? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I get the, you know, I, uh, well, first of all, I cycled them on and off, but, uh, you know, I get, I, I turn them on and it says no input. And then they, they're, they're sleeping, but they're, they're on. Hmm. And are you sure the monitors are set to the right input? Well, until just a little bit ago, they were all working fine. Uh, I, you know, they're, but yes, they, they are. Because the, for instance, the HDMI says there's no there's no input on there's only one HDMI input on it. And it says no no input on the HDMI, and mm. that's the HDMI one. And is the power light on on the dock? Is it all lit up and everything? Yeah, and it's charging the uh, laptop. Because mm. it sounds like you're just doing it wrong. I mean, I'm not sure how. If it's charging the laptop and everything, I'm not sure how it would just suddenly stop working on all three outputs at once. It's just a very uh, kind of unplausible scenario. It's more likely you've just done something wrong. You've probably set this, the windows to the incorrect refresh rate or something like that. That's, that's what you've probably done. Are you in front of the uh, computer I, right I, now? I, I didn't do anything to it. It just... It, one monitor started going kind of crazy as I was using it, and then they all quit. I didn't do anything to it. Hmm. Yeah, you're definitely doing something wrong. Um, just uh, <clears throat> I'm going through the diagnosis now, and it's yeah, it it does sound like a user error. Do you know how to reset all your display settings back to default? <laughs> um. What what is it you want me to do? You don't have a clue what I'm talking about, do you? I mean, you're laughing, even though I'm giving you the actual solution. Well, I, the fact that you're too well, ignorant to know how to use the product properly isn't really a laughing matter. Not for you, because we're not going to send you another one. You know, you're only going to mess that up as well. So, I mean, you can sit there doing your little chuckle, or you can, you know, maybe learn a little bit about the equipment that you're using. You're 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 seriously. This is the way that you you talk to people. Yeah, the ones that laugh in my face when I'm actually giving them the correct solution. Yeah, I mean it's so funny and clever to be ignorant, isn't it? But I'm giving you the solution here. Dell isn't just going to keep sending you equipment just because you're too much of a you know doofus to know how to plug it in properly. Uh, That's not not how we work over here. Some, this has just got to be some kind of a little joke or something, right? I can assure you it's not a joke. We're responding to your complaint about being all frustrated. Well, it'll... I... I <laughs> yeah, I, you have no clue what you're talking the about, I'm do you? The is because right. I write computer books. Uh, I, I was using my system, and it stopped. I didn't do anything, but well, go ahead. Walk me through whatever no, you would like. I mean, to if you write computer books, then God help us. All right, what refresh rate is each of the screens running at? Do you know that? You know what? Give me somebody else to talk to. No, you're not important enough to to have this escalated. Now, do you even know what refresh rate the screens are running at or not? So you write computer bugs, but you don't even seem to be aware of this key piece of information, which would absolutely dictate whether the screen comes on or not. I don't know what kind of fucking retard-ass computer bugs you write, but... Clearly, they're not very good. <laughs> Clearly, they're not very good. <laughs> there he goes. What a fucking retard. I write computer books. Yeah, of course you do. Of course you do. Can't even get his screens working, but he writes books. What are these? W what a pikey. What are these people in here doing? Not, not completely. Not completely. So, the issue that we have. Can I monster pause uh, them? Yeah, yeah, but be careful. They will kick you very, very fast, like the oh, the last time. Um, but the, um...
the uh did anyone else has anyone been kicked out already not yet we were waiting for you internally okay someone else someone else disrupt them first let me see how long it takes sure i'm gonna try it first go ahead hello can i be heard excuse me hello can you hear me yes we can oh okay thank you very much uh-huh they can hear you. Um, uh, um, so they had to put a booster in, a single booster in. And, um, so I'm not sure if um, why that is not. Um, Do that again. That was great. Why it, it's still going I'm on. I'm sorry. So, the host asked me to unmute. Did I miss uh, a question? No, 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 no. We'll see. We have time. Yeah, we'd love to about grab your us. head. Yeah. Put my big monster paws, fucking cock. Stop in your face. you, maggot. Start pissing right in your oh, mouth and all over your face. Yeah, Have you exposed that fucking up. egg bottom fucking hot fucking I'm ass up. ring? Let me piss on it. Put my fucking dick right to it. Piss in it. Slide. Fine, they removed me. Fine. Joho, thanks for the tip. Macronshow.live forward slash tip. We haven't even got up to one hot chili yet. We're about 80 schmeckles away. I'll eat two of them, though. Two or three when we get to <gasps> 100. I'll make two it of worth them. It. Yeah, I'll go nuts. I'll go nuts. I'll make it more enjoyable for you guys. <laughs> All right. Had another miss. So oh, no, we no, no. That was the Dell guy. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh, I guess I'll go into the room now. Let's see who we got in here. The room. Who's waiting for my assistance in here? Ah... Ask you know, JC, what's JCP? Is that a store? Jesse Penny? JCP. Isn't it? Of course. Yeah, it's it's like a Zellers, I think. Do you have the Zellers in UK? No. Ah. You're not missing much. They're close here. <laughs> oh. Ah. Like Sears? Ah, they're still alive. Says I got Munson. Ask JCP. What the hell? Ask JCP. Jesse oh, Penny. ask JC Penny. There we go. Okay. Ask it, came, JC. it came up. Yeah, I got it. Yay! <laughs> so Macron was not a, was not happy with my answer. That's why he was searching for another thing. <laughs> it says UPS lost our package, but they won't start looking for it until you invest in, initiate an investigation. So I have to be JC Penny, basically, is the plan. A rogue employee in the mailroom, burn them all. Either the number you dial. Oh no. Jesus Christ, we're striking out. I know. Hey, it's alright. We've been doing okay so far. We got this. Have some Knock faith. on wood. Knock on wood. I'm touching my penis right now. Oh! Uh, this person's <laughs> been getting UPS deliveries really late. We're just going to speed run these, because... Uh, you never know if it's going to work or not, you know? Of course. That's the beauty of it. That's, that's the mystique. The mystique, the that's a good word. Bonus point to you if they answer and you say gallivanting to them. Oh god, I'll try. Gallivanting. <laughs> or your favorite, or your know. word of the day. Yes. I don't even know what it means. <laughs> I'm sorry we can't get to the phone right now, but please leave a message. I think that's her, you know. I have a hunch that's her. Joelle. Her name's Joelle. Is Joelle a girl's name too? Yes, it is. In French, at least. 
Pop, pop. Wop, 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 wop. Thank you for calling Run Customer Support. After the beat, please leave your message. Boop. Boop. <laughs> so good when you do it like that. Boop. <laughs> After the Hi, am I speaking with Joelle? No. Oh, uh, I'm calling from UPS. Did you make a complaint with us? Um, I don't know. Oh, you're a bit of a dumbass, aren't you? Maybe lay off the drugs, retard. All right, bye. <laughs> I don't know. That's probably the best advice you received today. What a fucking idiot. What a riri. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> lay off the drugs. All right, genius. <laughs> Call her back. No, 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 no. I was hoping she'll oh, call okay. us. She'll get all pissy and call us. Ah. If someone called you back, read their name on the the display and say, Yes, Monica. Yes. What do you want? <laughs> like you know he's calling before. stupid woman how are we supposed to help if you don't answer the phone now i don't know my friend they don't deserve our help that's no, why they don't deserve yep. ron we'll keep trying though we're on a mission from god god sent us <laughs> oh not this again <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Belfast. Oh shit, someone's calling. Ring, 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 ring. Corporate office, can I help you? Hi. What corporate office is this? Uh, we're with UPS. Really? Because you just called and cursed out my 13-year-old daughter. Would you like me to call the police about it? Uh, well, we called to try and resolve the complaint that you've made, and your 13-year-old daughter sounded stoned or something. I mean, we tried. Um, nope. All she said was hello because I was standing there and you called her an effing retard. And then we said, did you make a complaint at UPS? And she said, uh, I don't know. And we didn't say effing retard either. So stop exaggerating now. Okay. I don't think this is UPS. I am going to call the police on this number. Goodbye. Well, your daughter's a retard. <laughs> yeah, go on then. <laughs> you should have told her. Yeah, go on then. Right. A second. Should I call from UPS? Yes. Yes. Hello? Yes, ma'am, Ron with UPS again. I think the line got disconnected just there. No, it didn't. I disconnected it because I was going to call the police. Right. Why do you think it's really police matter? Hang on a second. It is when you curse out an underage child, yes, well, for no reason. I mean, why is your stupid kid answering the phone if they're not capable of handling a phone call? Your kid was all like, duh, I don't know. Like, why have them answer the phone if they're too stupid to do it? So you really represent UPS? Ma'am, uh, is this a serious call? You, you called us. Do you actually need any help or, or what is it you want here? Yeah, I needed my package when I was supposed to get it. Right, okay. Uh, do you have the tracking number there? Yeah, but if you don't have it, I'm not giving it to you. Because I don't believe that this is UPS. Well, that's fine. I'll go ahead and mark this as resolved then. And you and your idiot drug-addled daughter can... Get back to whatever greasy crap that it is you do over there, okay? Sure thing. All right, bye, loser. Bye. <laughs> Get you bye. It's been a long time since you told us someone to get to fuck. Get to fuck. Yeah. It used to be your catchphrase. What's going on? My catchphrase is shut up. 
It used to be. No. Short shot, short shot, new one. Oh. Ooh. This person's got to run around with a warranty on the dishwasher. Ah, let's try to transfer department from department. No, I'm, I'm going to help uh, them. I'm going to fix this problem, train wreck. All right. Right. People need our help. Yeah. Hello? Hi, Denise. I'm calling from the corporate office with AHS Warranty. How are you doing? I'm well. How about yourself? I'm real good, thanks. Reason for the call is I was actually passed your file by my social media team. I understand you reached yeah. out with a complaint. Yes. Tell me what happened. It started in November when I... Um, reported a dishwasher that didn't function. Mm -hmm. I got the tech to come in quite quickly. He identified that a new motor was needed. Mm -hmm. He said that he ordered the motor on December 6th and that it would be five days to be delivered. Okay. And I have now called your company uh, at least four times. Right. Asking for status. I've also reached out to him by text and um, phone. I've never received anything from him, from the tech. Mm. And what I get from your company, I've heard two stories in my four phone calls. Right. Two of the stories is that the part will be in soon. Mm -hmm. And two other stories was that the part was delivered just days after ordered. And the tech should be calling me to um, make arrangements to install. We are closing in on March, and I think yeah. you can figure the Obviously rest out. I also oh, just feel goodness. like every time I call and they know that I'm not getting the promise that I was given, I'm always the one who has to call back later to check. And it's just not the best. Your 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 people are very kind. They're very nice. Mm -hmm. I can't seem to elevate the issue, and I can't seem to feel like I'm ever going to get satisfaction if I'm not the one constantly on it. Hence, I went ahead and just let you guys know on Twitter. I'm unhappy. Oh, gosh. Well, I'm sorry to hear all this, and uh, I can absolutely assure you that I do aim to satisfy you here now. Uh, let me just confirm a few details. So, uh, first of all, do you have the name of the technician you've been dealing with? Um, I'd have to look at my records. Mm -hmm. I could, if I go online, it'll tell me what the company is. I'll have to get back online. Oh, you said you'd been texting him as well. Do you not have his? Do you have his phone number? Yeah, I mean, but if I've, you been, could just give but I've the... been doing it by looking at the number online, or let me look at my notes. Oh. Just have, let's see my December notes. Um, I had December 5th as my notes. Hold on. I'm... Care, care, appliance repair. And the phone number is 623. Uh, yeah, what's the dispatch number there? 1794699918. Okay, and that, that number there, you said you'd been texting them, correct? That's what you said? Yes. Okay, and 
Okay, so you've just been texting that number, and I guess they texted you to say uh, it was supposed to be done, I guess, end of December, early January, correct? He told me um, when he ordered it December 5th, I got like a text that said the order came in, the order was put in, and I think the text said something like it would arrive in five days. And then when I called his um, telephone number, I got a message that said, um, call American Home Shield for the status. There, there was a little bit of um, finger pointing. It was like Home Shield would say, you've got to call him, and he would say, you've got to call them, that kind of thing. Okay. And the number that you called, that was the number you've just given me, correct? I, that's what I have in my notes. Six two three seven nine two zero. Yeah. Okay. Uh, great. Edit that out. Uh, okay. So, uh, and can you just confirm the make and model of the dishwasher for me? It is a GE Triton XL. Eterna series. It's an older model. Okay. Uh, what I'm going to do, if it's okay with you, uh, I'm going to give the engineer a call. I'm going to put you on a very brief hold. I'm going to call up the engineer and see if he's out, you know, kind of doing his rounds right now and see how soon we can get him over there to repair it. Um, is that okay with you? Is that all right? Um... As long as he's pleasant about getting here, I mean, I'm not very happy with the lack of communication. Um, but yes, bottom line, I want my dishwasher repaired. Got you. Okay, I'll tell you that as a yes. So what I'm going to do, um, the phone's just going to go silent for a couple of minutes, okay? So just stay on the line for okay. me. Uh, and just while I speak to the engineer, sorry, we got this new phone system, so um, okay. I'm going to call him up, I'm going to give him all the details, and then we're going to see what we can get organized for you. Bear with Sounds me just a moment. Yeah, you threw the Scoby? Oh, hey there, Scobie. It's Ron at Corporate. How are you doing? I'm all right. How can I help you? Uh, can I give you a dispatch number, please? What's the number? Uh, the number is 179. Hold on. I'm not ready for it. Give me a minute. You said you were ready for it. Okay. What's the uh, number? Uh, uh, okay. 179. 469. 918. Uh, there's a motor, right? Yeah, How that's, can I help you? that's right. Uh, well, uh, I have the customer on the other line. They can't hear us right now. Um, so yes, you I had can. spoken to, yes. I guess, Denise back in December. You had told her you'd be over there for five days. Now, um, I don't know if you know how to use a calendar or not, sir. Are you calling me in concern with this fucking motor for that bitch? I have yeah, tried, yeah, yeah. I have tried to. I have tried to handle this concern now for goddamn two months. Yeah, exactly. It's for, it's March. You told her it'd be out by December. What is going on? Look, look, I don't need to explain myself to you, okay? Well, I, you kind of do. You kind of do, because it's been like three months. I have showed up on numerous occasions to go ahead and satisfy that motor to go ahead and complete the order, okay? I don't know what the hell that fucking bitch is doing on her end. Okay, but I'm done with it. Or have you, you been me? calling? Have you called to tell her? Have you maybe I've thought called, about that? I've called several times. Well, she says you haven't, all right? Picking up the, boat. the bitch is sitting at her house right now. Like, like, why don't you get your ass over there now, then? Drive over there now, fix it. Like, get this sorted. Yes, what? This bitch is all over social media bitching about it now, okay? So just how about this? How about you get your ass over there now, and you fix the damn motor? How about that? Solution. She's put on another complaint about me? Is that what she's done? It's on Twitter, yeah. All over Twitter. God damn it. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
I'll handle this tonight. You best fucking believe that. All right, I'll tell her you're on the way, okay? How long till you can get there? You got the address there, right? I have the address. I'm 20 minutes out. Okay, 20 minutes. Don't take any shit from her, okay? Oh, <laughs> don't worry about that. All right. Do not worry about that. All right, I've got her on hold. Let me patch her back in. Thank you, Scobie. All right, thank Bye. Bye. Hi there, ma'am. Can you hear me? You know, you, um, your new phone system, I heard everything. Huh? I even tried to tell you ahead of time. I can hear, and you could not hear me tell you. I can hear. So I certainly heard how many times I got called a bitch. Huh? I do not want him coming. I do not want him coming to my house with you both calling me a bitch. No, nobody and he said has that. Never He's... called me. He no, has never I... called me. To be honest, we get a lot of trouble with these people, ma'am. You know, they say that they called and they don't. They just have a lot of jobs to do. But the good news is, he's going to be there in about twenty minutes. He's going to get it all no, fixed I... for you. Um, <laughs> when he's when you're both calling me a bitch and you want me to have him over at my house. Well, you wanted him to come fix the dishwasher, ma'am. I I sure did, and I. I certainly didn't want to hear you two calling me a bitch. I, I never, ma'am, I would never. And it's not social media. I just, ma'am, ten minutes ago. Ma'am, I, I have him you... on the other line, and he was nothing but an absolute gentleman. Let me, let me, I, patch, let I me heard, patch back I in the other line phone. right now. Hold on a second. Pardon? Scobie, you yeah. still there? Hello? Yes, I am. Lady's on the phone now. She's a little bit upset. Um, can you just maybe talk to her and reassure her? Well, I can understand. I mean, this issue's been going on for several months now. And it seems like it's an issue on our end. I don't know why it's come to this point, but I will go ahead and satisfy her in more ways than one, of course. And we will go ahead and get the issue satisfied. Okay, sounds good. Are we all happy now? I am not happy, no. Why are you not? Is this the homeowner that's on the line? Yes, this is the lady. Unfortunately, yes, I'm she... on the line, and I he did not he did not Madam, put Madam, the phone in the right way, and I heard you both call me bitch, and so <gasps> I'm a, and if you had called me back to tell me the part was delayed or that you were busy, that would be one thing. I have called American Sweet Home tits. Shield four I times. I called the number that is listed here that I have in the system. Is. Titty lady, can you hear me? Yes. I call yes, the I number that is listed. May I continue? Yes. I call. My name is Scobie. I am the gentleman that will show up to go ahead and make the repair. I call the number here that is listed in the system. I have made several phone calls, and I am always 100% of the time sent to an immediate voicemail. I don't even get two ranks. Now, can you explain that for me? I have the phone number as 520-440- No, ma'am, 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 ma'am. I am calling the yes. correct number. I am, I am dialing the correct number. I'm asking you a simple question. Why do I, why, when I call you, why do you send me to the immediate, your voice message? Why is that done? I've never received a voice message. I have no, I have no a phone Because call the me. line is disconnected when I attempt to make the message. I want to leave a voicemail to let you know I'm here to make a job, to complete a job. The line is disconnected every single time. Is there somebody mm. else in the home that is doing that? If it's my husband who is undergoing chemotherapy, then oh, you've fuck. got the wrong number because he is not able to take phone calls. I have been using my phone number of 520 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so maybe there's an error that's on our end. Is That's what it sounds like at this point. And I'm happy to level set right now, but I have just not been able to have any communication through American yes, Home Shield. Yes, ma'am. Well, look, ma'am, I, I think I've got a solution trip. here. I've, I think I've got a solution, because you shouldn't have to put up with this crap from these goddamn, these these engineers, okay? How about this, Scobie? How about you get your ass over there right now, and you wash this lady's dishes for her, okay? 
How about that? You can sit there and you can hand wash that shit. Because I've had enough of your lip. Enough. All right? You get over there. Mm. You clean that lady's damn house. You clean that whole house. Okay, boy? <laughs> Sounds like there's a crap involved, oh, wow. but all right. Wow. Make sure you clean, you clean that, her pipes, too. Um, you clean that whole house. Anything she wants doing no. around the house, you clean that shit Scobie, up, okay? I, I, Scubby, I just want a, a, a motor. And if you can just take down my phone... No, we've got, we've got, we've got, we can talk directly at another time. What I'll do, ma'am, yeah, I'll make sure they've got the correct phone number. But if you want, Scobie, you. I'm going to have Scobie go over there and put on a little apron and do whatever housework you need doing, okay? How does that no, sound? No, I, I, I do not need that. I, I simply need a motor. He can wash the and, car for uh, you or clean the gutters or anything like that you need doing. He'll no, do, I know, that's very He'll do whatever you. you say. I simply want a motor. We can and have I, him wear. And I, I, we, I'm we, willing to say that for some reason there's a disconnect. It's very true. My husband is not answering his phone, but I have all I have. Oh, okay. And again, that's on our end, man. My phone yeah. Yeah. That is on our end. There's no fault on your side whatsoever. I will be there to go ahead and complete the job if necessary. Don't. I could have him like yeah. if you have anything that needs doing around the house. I could have him paint your fence or clean out the pool or anything like all, that. All you I need. need is for Scobie. To um, text me later, and we'll work out a time because Somebody. tonight isn't a good one. I'm still getting over the fact you both called me bitch. That and wasn't I, us, ma'am. That I'll was get over that. That was some other people. Ma'am, I have know. never used such language. I, I, I don't mind. No, I, 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 I do I, not say that. I listened. <laughs> I listened to you guys. He hit the wrong button, and the mute button didn't work. Uh, he hit the wrong button. Uh, God. Yeah, that was my bad. Was, I I fucked that up. I'm sorry, everyone. It was only, it was almost funny if it wasn't a little scary, because I really didn't want someone coming over immediately. Let's give me a day to breathe through it. Scoby, you text me, and we'll figure it out. How's that? Okay. I understand. Again, I do apologize. I, I've only been, I'm trying to complete the order. It's been going on for two to three months. If you that's want, all I want to do. If you want him to cut your grass or clean the windows or any other chores <laughs> around the house, pick up any dog poop, you just let us know. Um, that story? Will be funny. I feel like later. at this point it is owed. It will, once yeah. I get my my dishwasher working again, this will be funny. But okay. right now, I'm a yes, little freaked out. Okay, right. well, until then, he's going to be at your house. He's going to wash everything by hand. Okay, so you, you don't need see, to worry. I just have my windows all cleaned. It's, he's too late. Ah, That's geez. what I wanted. <laughs> he could cut the grass for you though, if that would help. Yep. You. This is funny. Almost. I'm starting to get there. All right, Scoby. When you go over there, you wear your maid's outfit and you do whatever she says, okay? It's. It, I will do what I need to do. All right. This if you is, have, I don't, not, I don't know if it's not, not tonight, though. No, no emergency no, response no one's, necessary. No one's, no one's coming now over tonight. Now, if you have like a right. riding crop or anything like that, you're welcome to strike yeah. him if he doesn't work <laughs> fast enough, by the way. He, we're, we're he enjoys good. it. He we're good. You want me to delete my uh, Twitter? No, nah, you, can, you can leave it up there. We don't mind. We don't mind. All right. All right. Later, guys. All right, you take care, honey. All right, All right bye. 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 Oh, we had to be Later, nice. Later, whole hag. We had to later. be nice to her. Yeah. Had, damn it. Toby, text me later. <laughs> <laughs> okay, clean Scobie. me, Scoby. Scoby. Scoby, you go over there and clean that house, uh, okay? Make I knew up it for when, you, when she mentioned it that we were bailing out. I was like, shit. Uh, nah. Uh, nah. Poor lady. Oh, fuck. Yeah. All right, this person has been on the phone for over two hours about their coffee machine. <laughs> make, her, right. make them hang up on the real service. Oh, yes. <laughs> talk to you. Hopefully. Oh, yeah. Please leave your message for four, four. How dare you? Four, four. Hello? Hi, am I speaking with uh, Teresa? No, you're not. Oh, I'm calling from the corporate office with Kurig about your uh, complaint with your machine. About Kurig? Yes. Yeah, you had made a complaint? Um, I could call her. That's my grandmother, but I'm I'm not her. I could call her, though, and ask her. Can I call you guys back? Yeah, just call us back at this number. That's fine. All right, bet. All right, bye. Did she say bet? <laughs> she said bet. She said bet. bet. She said bet. <laughs> I bet I've you already, bet? I like bet. you bet? Yeah. Huh. It's a what new it's a thing the kids say now. We're not cool <laughs> enough.
<laughs> We're not cool enough to know. Just back to her age, you know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hi, you reach 443 ah! I wish. I think that's her grandma's number. Uh, she was like, I bet. <laughs> I, I. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I'm a middle aged British guy. Hi, you re you remember when you said, me. I, I. I. <laughs> I, yo. Call the grandma from her number. Oh, yes. Right. Uh, it's all right. idea. I'm pretty sure one of these is the grandmother, but. One of these days. Probably the it's... first one in the can don't have call waiting. Ah, uh, let's just wait for it to call back okay. if I'm available. Mm hmm. If I'm available, I'll take it. I'll see what's happening with the meetings while we wait. Let's see here. Good idea. Who's trying to do a meeting here? <laughs> Who's trying? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Welcome and thank you for choosing freeconferencecall.com. Your healthy access code or phone number you have dialed is in. No, Your input is invalid. Your input is invalid. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> if you are the host, press stop. Losers. Mm -hmm. This one will have a moderator straight away. They always do. Great. Thank you for calling. If you are the mod, there are currently 20 other participants in the conference. You are now on. Yeah, would love to grab your head. Yeah. Put my big mo. See. See how yeah. quick that was. You but predicted it. I've trained them well. I've trained them on security. <laughs> you trained it very well. Welcome and thank you. If you are the host, press. Thank you for calling our If you are the moderator, there are currently two other participants in the conference. Oh shit, wait, I'm gonna call back in. That one's starting in three minutes, so it's about to fill up. Andrea. Do you want a, a reminder in three minutes? Nah, I'm just gonna call. All right. I have the uh, moderators. Oh no, we don't have the moderator's phone number for this one. Fuck, all right. Okay. Uh, Fuck it. Fuck it, we'll just get in there anyway. Fuck it, we're doing it live. Thank you for calling our if you are the moderator, there are currently two other participants in the conference. Hi. You are now unmuted. Hi, everyone. Hi. 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 Is this the meeting? Yes, I think so. I think we're waiting for the meeting to start. I just joined. Hi. Hi. Oh, hello. Hi. Oh, hi. Oh, didn't see you there. Hi. Hi. How are you? So we're due to start in one minute. Um, I'll be are leading you... the meeting tonight. You're the moderator. I think I was in your... Uh... Last yes. meeting. My name yes. is my name is Cosmonaut. I'm the moderator. <laughs> yes, I remember you. Hi. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did you laugh at my name there? Oh no! I'm sorry. I was coughing. I pressed the mute button. I'm sorry. I I pressed star hate. Something funny about my name there, Frenchie. <laughs> Cosmonaut. <laughs> Nothing, Professor Cosmonaut. <laughs> You have been kicked from the <laughs> You were waiting for us. Assholes. Uh, <laughs> you beat me. You made me laugh so much. I pressed the mute button in a panic. <laughs> Name is Cosmonaut. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, great. Oh. Hello. Good afternoon, ma'am. I'm calling from the corporate liaison team at Best Buy. Am I speaking with Christina? Yes, hi. Hi, Christina. Reason for the call, I was actually passed you off information by my social media team. I uh, understand you had reached out with uh, some kind of complaint? 
Yeah, I reached out because it's the second time I ordered something from you guys that didn't get delivered. Oh, no. And I don't, and I want, they want to refund me, but that's going to take a while. But I said, if you, it, instead, can we just reorder it? Because they, you can't, I guess you can't, like, if it doesn't get delivered, you have to just cancel the whole order and reorder again, which is a major hassle, but I'll do it. Mm. But I asked that they send, like, that I get same day delivery because that's an option. If I go online as a new customer to buy the thing that I want to buy, I can spend $8 and get it delivered today. So shouldn't I be able to do that if I reorder right now through this uh, process and get the TV today? I'm sorry. I just vented on social media, but it's, I mean, the, it's, the, the problem is pretty much over. They can't get me the TV and the refund is coming in like a week. Okay. Uh, which TV did you want to order? It was like a 50-inch Westinghouse TV. Okay. Do you, um, do you know the model number there? Let me see. Because the problem is we can deliver a lot of items same day or even next day, but obviously the item has to be in stock for us to be able to do that. If it's not yeah, in no, stock, Yeah, no, it was. The problem is through it. shipped. That's the other issue. The, the, the company that you guys have, the third-party company of delivering it, is yeah. the one that canceled. So that they are blaming shipped, but at the same time telling me, like, the, the, the item is in stock because it was going to be delivered yesterday, but they canceled. So it's Westinghouse 50 4K UHD Smart Roku TV with HDR. 50-inch screen 4K UHD Smart Roku TV. Hmm, let me take a look here. Yeah, we, uh, honestly, that delivery company, we have a lot of issues with it. We, we call them, between you and me, we call them shit. I mean, yeah, this is the second Shit. time the same exact thing happened. Yeah, I'm not. I'm upset, not surprised. I'm upset because I'm more clued into the process. There's some kind of disconnect, though, because yeah. when I checked the status, I was fine with them not getting it to me yesterday. But then today, when I checked the status, it says preparing, but there's no update. So when I called, there's no update saying actually they're not preparing. You just have to cancel this order and you're and reorder entirely. Yeah, no, that seems like typical behavior from shit. Uh, let me see mm -hmm. here. Um, now, if we had the TV in at one of your local stores, would you would you rather go collect it? Because you could play go p collect it like straight um, away. I don't have a car right at this moment, but also I didn't want to have to. I was I did delivery because it's it's a big TV and I'm just one person and I didn't want to have to try to get it up to my building. I live in an apartment building. There's an elevator, but. Got you, got you, okay. Um, delivery would have been the best bet, and I also don't have a car for the next couple of days. Okay, let me see what I can do here. Um, so I see that they've put in a request to refund the order. Now, that's going to take up to five business days. Um, what I could do... Uh, let me see here. I Here's could the thing. If you, I, I appreciate you reaching out, and if you guys want me to delete the tweet, I will. But is there any, like, there's no incentive to reorder again. I'm just waiting for my refund at this point. Unless I can get the TV today, I just don't want to deal with this again. Unless you guys, if you guys want to offer me some kind of, like, coupon code or whatever, maybe I'll think of reordering again. But this is, like, too much. This is literally the second time the same exact thing happened. Well, I have a couple of options. I could offer you a $50 discount on the TV, but that would only be if you were able to go collect it from the store. The other option is I do have direct access to one of the managers over at Shipped. I could call him and ask if there's any way they can get the TV out to you today and just stop the stop the refund going through. So uh, it's up to you how you'd like me to proceed, really. Um, I mean, the $50 discount does sound pretty sweet. Mm, mm. So how would I do that? That's only if I go get it myself. Yeah, you would have to go collect it from the store. I would. What I would do in that case is call the store manager and have them discount it for you. Um, I guess that could work. I just to figure out how I'm gonna like. I guess I could probably have someone help me. Yeah. Um, maybe I'll do that. I'll do that, and I'll just wait till I get a car and go pick it up myself. Okay, well, best thing to do is give, give me a call back at this number. Um, just ask for extension 6969. Uh, my name is Ron. 
And mm -hmm. if you call back and let us know when you're available to go to your local store, I can try and make the arrangements for you. How does that sound? I mean, I'll probably be, I'll probably be getting my car back either Tuesday or Wednesday. So I have to call back and then to, when I, when I, but I, do I reorder it? Because I'm getting refunded on it now. No, just just give me a call when you're ready, and I will make the arrangements for you. Um, I mean, the other option is I can probably get one of the senior supervisors over at Shipped to arrange a delivery tonight, if you just wanted to get the TV at the the regular price. But that's that's okay. all up to. If you, if you can, we try that first. Let's yeah, that first. I mean, let me give them a call right now, see if there's someone available there, and uh, we'll see what we can do. Uh, okay, thank you. I don't know why it keeps. I mean, maybe I'm. I'm guessing like it says like it literally gets up to the point where it's like the update status is the ship, the the driver's there, and then they cancel. So I don't know if it's a matter of like they're getting there and the TV's too big. It's not even that big of a TV though. Okay, let me give them a call now and see what we can do. Bear with me a moment here. Shit. Hey there, it's uh, Ron calling from the uh, corporate liaison team over here at Best Buy. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. How can I help you, sir? Uh, can I give you an internal reference number? Uh, please provide that. So it's going to be 80085 uh, TV. Yes, I have that information. How can I help you? So it was scheduled uh, for delivery to Miss uh, Miss Christina here. Uh, looks like you guys, for whatever reason, weren't able to make the delivery. Um, and the, this lady really does want her TV. I was wondering, is there any way you could maybe just uh, just go deliver it? Yes, tonight? I am personally very, very, very familiar with Miss Christina. Oh, uh, do we know what time she is going to bed? She huh? she's on the line actually with me now. Mama, are you there? Hi. You could get it any time before like eight or nine. That would be great. Nine is pushing it, but if I can get it before eight, that would be great. We just need to find out what time she's laying down, because I, I will personally go ahead and make that delivery. I mean, by nine o'clock is when I'm I'm laying out and I'm out after nine. Can you hear me? Who, who's this here on the line? What, what associate is this, Ron? This is the lady. This is the customer. Hi. This is Miss Christina. Yes, yeah. By 9 o'clock, I'm out. So if you can get it before 9, that'd be great. Is there any way you're able to stay up to about 10? I can maybe make it 9.55, 10 o'clock tonight. Is that all right? Um, sure. You're you're actually on my way home, and I do apologize about the, the, the delay here. We want to go ahead and satisfy. We want to go ahead and, and get this order completed as soon as possible, ma'am. Okay. So you can have it here by you 10 o'clock. I actually have a bottle of Merlot. I was hoping. I, I've actually seen you, uh, you the last couple of days or so. I, I Personally, I've been trying to get this issue resolved, and I, I have some Merlot. I was wondering if I may be able to, after I make the drop off, we could maybe have a glass or two. No, that's that's awkward. That's very awkward. I'm sorry. I just want my TV. Absolutely. You're not allergic to latex, are you? Are you are you serious? Uh, that, that doesn't matter. The, 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 quite frankly, I can do without. You know, ODB is is my okay. I can be around there around nine fifty five, ten o'clock tonight, ma'am. If that's okay. I don't know if I feel comfortable after those questions you just asked me. To be honest, I only wish to drop off the set, ma'am. I can go ahead and get that set up for you if you'd like. We, I'm a fan of Sex in the City personally. Um, are you are you a fan? Yeah. Yeah. Which, uh, what is her name? The 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 whore. Is it Susan or what is her name? Samantha. I love Samantha. <laughs> so yes, I can be around there around nine fifty five, ten o'clock tonight. Uh, you you have. Mm, I, I've seen you before. You, your your long dark hair and your your beautiful. Dark guys, I, I, I'm, I'm quite a fan, actually. 
Um, I don't I don't really feel comfortable with you delivering my TV. You're kind of creeping me out. I'm sorry. I didn't mean no offense, ma'am. How am I creeping you out? I'm only there to go ahead and, and make a couple of drop-offs. Again, I asked if you're allergic okay. to latex. I'm okay. Thank you. How how big are your tits? Oh my god! Can you oh. please can, can you please get off the phone? We're good. Are you familiar with scat? I I would love if you would uh, maybe I can pick up some Taco oh, Bell. Oh, can we? Uh, and you could go ahead and just relieve yourself across my chest or or my mouth. I'm uh, either I, or. I'm trying to disconnect yeah. him, but we got this new phone system, and it's it's not letting me. Uh, oh, jeez. Okay, Mr. Scobie, well, that is th that is a little inappropriate, Mr. Scobie. That's a lot. I'm only doing my job here, sir. I don't understand what the issue is. I want to make a just, drop off. You just asked the young lady to shit on your chest, sir. That is slightly inappropriate. I'll be honest. Look, she doesn't know this, but we've actually had a conversation with one another very recently. Okay? Yeah. So I know she's familiar with me. She's comfortable around me. I know this is a fact. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, that's a bit... Mom, are you happy with him going over there? No, yeah. not at all. Can I... Uh, she's she's giving permission. I'll be on my way. As a matter of fact, I can be there in the next hour. Yeah. No, we're good. Thank I you. I'm on the what way. I will drop what I'm doing right now. I can reschedule this order, and I am on my way. Yeah. I am What's on my name? way. <laughs> Huh? What's your name? My name's Ron. No, the other gentleman's name was shipped. Oh, uh, you know who I am. We've been in the elevator several times recently. You know yeah. who I am. She's played around. I let, let me go ahead and put this order. Yeah. In. Let's go ahead and get this done. <sighs> okay. Well, I think we're all set here, right? No, I don't want him to send me a TV. Thank you, Ron. Can you please? I'll send you one of the pictures of her, Ron. Ron, look at this picture of her. Do you want? Yeah. She's getting her mail. Do you want him to bring? You took a picture of her getting her mail. Yeah. I I have a few. This this one in particular is a favorite. Ma'am, do you look know this one? Do you know this man already, ma'am? No, I don't. Can yeah. You please just connect or hang up and call me back or whatever you need to do. I'm trying to work out how to do that. Um. You said you don't want him to bring the TV, is that correct? Correct. Do you want him to bring the bottle of wine? No, yeah. thank you. Have you seen a Serbian film? Yeah. Oh. I have the second one, the second rendition. Huh. Okay, so she doesn't want the TV, and she doesn't want the wine, but she'll see you about 10 o'clock, okay? No, yeah. no, thank you, That guys. sounds wonderful. I am on my way. Um, yeah. I mean, if it would help, I could drive over there, too, and, uh, maybe we could do a threes-up? Yeah. That's a great idea, guys. Go fuck yourselves. How about that? You're huh? in the cuckold. <laughs> there she goes. <laughs> <laughs> she gripped out. That's fucking all good. <laughs> well done, Scobie. You took pictures of a gang of male. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, amazing. What is going on in this stupid meeting? It looks like they're still getting set up. I'm going to run and take a break, okay? Um, Ronnie, you dial for a minute. I'm going to leave this meeting on the screen, though. Don't fuck with them yet. Just wait till they, uh, wait till they get not started. Yet. They might... Uh, they might make a noise when you're trying to do stuff. Oh, fuck them. But uh, I'm going to leave them up here. We can unmute, though, so as soon as they all get ready for the meeting, like, we can fuck with them. Mm -hmm. All right, anyway, you okay dialing for five minutes? Yeah, cool. All right, I'll be back. You have reached the voicemail. Oh, wow, Jeffrey's not talking. Bad, bad boy. I'm going to get started. Do I have to break up the gas? This oh, meeting is being recorded. 
Shut the fuck up. All right, I'd like to go ahead and call a speed of order. Um, and for all those who can, please rise for the pledge. Yeah, now we got to listen to this fucking meeting. <laughs> Thank you for calling our telephone meeting. You may enter the conference. If you are the moderator, please press 1. Otherwise, please hold and place into the conference. There are currently 10 other participants in the conference. Please press one. You are now you. unmuted. Um, public address to the board. This is the time when the public may address the board on any item listed on the meeting agenda or on any issue or matter of the town. If you intend on addressing the board at this time, we ask that you do the following. Please identify yourself by name, address, or the company institution you represent. Public address to the board, segment will last no longer than 30 minutes. Please make your comments concise and try not to repeat statements made by others. Unmuted. Please address your comments to the board chair. Discussion or debate on any issue may not take place at this time. The chair of the designee may answer questions on procedural matters. Please be cordial and respectful of others. And if anyone wishes to be recognized when the board room, discusses like an agenda item, please 12, make the request yeah. at this time. Press the board chair may grant this request. Address comments to the board chair and please be concise. We are meeting in person, making this meeting available via Zoom for the convenience of the public. Right. Since we are meeting in person, we will not be responsible for any technical yeah, difficulties. So if you'd like you to be sure to participate, no. please attend in person. Anybody looking to address the board this evening? Yes, ma'am. Awesome, Peters, CRA, just like to talk about the parks budget. Okay, great. Thanks, Alex. Anyone else see it then? Dr. Rose. Hi, thank you. Uh, I, again, for those of you who might not have been here the last time I made a comment about the regulation that two members of the same household cannot be on the same committee, uh, I'd like to say that I think this is addressing a problem that does not exist. Um, I, I don't think that's an issue. And we have something like nine vacant positions for volunteers. So this will discourage volunteerism. I, I, I don't see a problem. If you're concerned about too much power being in the hands of one family, you could make the term for just one year. Or if, when you have a choice, I mean, you have several volunteers going for the same position, you could preferentially go for a household that has not been represented yet. And I can't think of any time where this has been a problem. Yeah, right. Do, Don't does anybody yet. see Wait that it's a problem comment. that my wife and I are both not efficient? <clears throat> And our committees, to my knowledge, don't make ultimate decisions. Our select board does. So I don't see the need for this regulation. I'd ask you to undo it. Well, Thank you, Dr. Rose. And we'll be discussing that on the agenda on number 11 as well, if you'd like to hang out. Uh, anyone else looking to address the board? Okay, seeing none online, seeing nobody internal, okay. Um, number five, the employment appointment ratification appointment of, um, I hope I pronounced your name correctly, Taggart Rosa? Rusa. Rusa, thank you. Taggart Rusa as full time patrolman, effective March 13, 2023. Um, Mr. Richardson and Chief Stroud. Uh, I've been introduced uh, only via um, electronic oh, means. Good to see you here. Uh, thank you for coming, and uh, I, I'll just turn it over to Chief Strout for her uh, for her introduction of the uh, candidate. Thank you. Good evening. This is Taggart Russo. Um, Taggart took our entrance exam, our very first entrance exam since leaving civil service. He did place number one on our test, um, and it was an exceptional candidate. Um, the one thing I will say is he has now displaced my record of the youngest person hired here. It now goes to him. So thanks so much. <laughs> um, but we're super excited to have Taggart. He's going to start um, March 13th. He's going to start working on um, some training and then he begins the full-time academy April 3rd. Awesome. Awesome. Great. Okay. Have a motion? Sure. We'll make a motion to appoint Taggart Rusa, the full-time patrolman effective March 13th, 2023. Is there a second? Second. Motion, second. Any discussion? 
Have you prepared the uh, 20 minutes speech you had to get tonight? I'm <laughs> just saying that to you. I'm like, will you take a speech? He goes, do I? Like, no. I only have the a lot of questions. It's all slow. We're going to stop. Yeah. Not 20 minutes, but we got a lot of agenda. Go ahead. What's that? Tell us a little bit about yourself. <laughs> I'm Tay Russo from New Massachusetts. I grew up in a law enforcement family in Berkshire County and I'm excited to be here and starting a career here. So awesome. That's great. Fantastic. Any further discussion? I would say I'm well aware of this family and nothing but respect and he'll fill in, he'll fit in great here. Excellent. Excellent. Mr. Esco, just checking in with you. Any comments? No comments, but uh, thank you for coming to the Dalton Police Department, uh, Patrolman Rusa. And uh, with no further discussion, we have a motion and a second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Who are these people? Opposed, abstentions, motion carries. Now, we were speaking with three and you have family with you tonight, so bring them all up for the group photo. Come on up. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Welcome to Dallas. Shall I monster pause this meeting? Is anyone else in here? Oh, Logan Green's in here. Yep. Play some Jeff clips to them, see if they react. Or monster pause it. Shall I monster pause it? You have to. All right. Yeah, would love to grab your head. Yeah. Put my big monster paws fucking cock to your face. Start pissing right in your mouth and all over your face. Have you exposed that fucking egg bottom fucking hot fucking ass ring? Let me piss on it. Put my fucking dick right to it. Piss in it. Slide my cock up in your fucking hot ass and start charging you up with just fucking gallons of fucking sperm. <laughs> Fuck off, you man. Ah, they removed me. <laughs> oh my god, the dude ran to the laptop. <coughs> Did you see that, dude? No one's calling me back here. Has that guy tweeted about us yet? Oh shit, they had the screen up and everything. Damn, he's not even tweeted about me, really? Oh shit, what's DS got going on here? What's this? Fucking people ended the meeting. <laughs> really? <laughs> as soon as as soon as you stop with the monster power, I, I, pause, I fucking went in there. Nice. Okay. <laughs> don't forget, guys, if you donate tonight, every time we get to 100 schmeckles, I'm going to eat one of these. I'm probably going to eat a couple if we make it to 100. I picked the worst day to do it because everyone gets paid like tomorrow. Or whatever. But don't worry, we'll keep it going on all week. Macronshow.live slash tip if you want to watch me suffer. This next one I'm showing is a $20 set. It is a... Your call has been forwarded to an You frozen, lady. I'm back. Hi. Thank you, thank you. Bear with me. Bear with me. I'm going to stay motivated. I'll give it time if they keep doing the... Oil pressure pump. Yes. It's fine. Rabid Mouse 666 did a super chat. Thank you, sir. Your call has been for. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Oh shit, wait, the meeting came back. Oh fuck. I'm going back in. Wow, you can see the TV screen there with us. <laughs> Uh, 
I dare you to Oh, they ended the it again. They oh, end, no. They ended it again. What the fuck? Really? It's going to say do the black man fantasy. Set. You put purple set and she's all yours. Purple set. You got your wide back ring. Gorgeous. Your man. Your call has been for. Your call. Your call has been forwarded. Hello, hello, hello. Your call has been. Your call has been. Damn doubt, I gotta go. I gotta stop my live. I'm so. Your call has. Your call has been... Come on, lady. I want to tell you about your extended toilet warranty. Your call has been forward... <gasps> Mr. Pricky for president. I'm sorry. Did I miss your super chat? My bad. Hashtag just say cunt, cunt, cunt. Okay, cunt, cunt, cunt. Your call has been forwarded. Fine, fine. Fuck off then, lady. You're boring. Body or shit. Who else needs my help around here? I think there was another one up here in the show chat, wasn't there? Yeah. 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 Uh Oh, we had the Best Buy one. We did that one, right? Okay. Uh Is there another one or is that it? No, I think we're going into the room. Let's see here. Uh da 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 da. da. Uh UPS. UPS. Wait, wait, wait. <clears throat> I got a I got a good one coming. Oh. David's bridal. Somebody lost the guy's fucking wife uh, wedding dress. <laughs> oh, what? They lost his wedding dress. Oh, shit. <laughs> Yo, lost my wife's wedding dress. <laughs> We've got to say that Scobie's wearing it. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that's his fucking number. I hope so. Uh, David's bridal. Please leave your message for nine. Oh no. I think Ray would look good in a bridal dress. Hmm. Please leave your message for That's beside the point. <laughs> Please leave your message. Oh no. Let's try this other Damn. One. Come on, Pablo. Your call has been forwarded to Mother an automatic voice message system. Nine. Come on, Pablo. What the hell? Your call has been forwarded. Fucking cunt. Your call has been... Hello? Yes, hi, ma'am. I'm calling from David's Bridal about your wedding dress. Uh, you got the, the wrong number, sir. Okay, well, can you take me off your list, please, and stop calling here? No, you're the one calling me. So yeah, calling no me. sales calls on this number, please. Thank you. <laughs> Fuck. 
Another town hall meeting. Oh, shit. Where the hell are all these coming from? It's almost like you guys want me to monster pause all the town hall meetings. Can you guess who I am? Dr. Banchode. Nope. I'm not even in there yet. Yes, I am. No, I'm not in there yet. Oh, but, but I am. Mm. <laughs> it's okay. Guess who am I? Yeah, because there's no real trail there that's, that's self-maintaining. It's all meadow land, and it's a nice spot, but it's just, I would say, the trail steward has a bigger job there if you can find a lawnmower. But I think, I know, me? isn't, I think one of the neighbors, most yeah, that routinely, and maybe what we do is ask and see if there's somebody who can run a, a more conventional yeah. mower. Diagonally Someone try and jump in. Somebody making a point there? Who's that? Go ahead, Jeff. Oh, I'm sorry. I unmuted my phone. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. No, no, no problem. Something that would help is that I used to get through it. Hey guys, my name's Greg. I want to be with this dark black man. I'm going to fantasize about a big black cock. What do you got to say for you, stop you old maggot? More than one. You sound like a fucking hillbilly. What do you got, Greg? I was just having a big black cock all over me. Marcus is really a big, 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 Wes, can you mute your phone, please? I can't. No life right now. What the fuck do you want? I think we've been bombed by somebody. Tony, good for shaving my balls. Oh, like right. I'm having a problem with the hair on my balls. It's easy to shave and touch. And I have hair on the shaft as well. And my girlfriend says when she give me a BJ, she can get the hair caught in her teeth. It's a big problem. And I was wondering if she could help. Oh, they ended it. They ended it. Did you did you find who I who I was? No, I didn't oh, see we're you just in there. All over really? The place yeah. keep up. I was David Bridal business dress. <laughs> Nobody gives a fuck who are you. Uh, <laughs> all right, well, let me know. Let me know if they try and get going again. Okay. Did you see the that woman's face? Like with the like the repugnance. She was like, Ugh, with Ugh. her nose and her mouth, like, Ugh. that's shit on my shoes, you know? Yep. Like. The face expression. Welcome and thank you for choosing free. There are nine participants in the conference. The very next day, by the muted. Unmuted. Yeah, would so love to grab your head. Andrew. Yeah. Yes. Put my big monster paws fucking muted. cock to your face. Start pissing right in your mouth and all over your face. <laughs> we won again. Welcome and thank you for choosing. If you are the host, ring 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 ring. Oh, ring 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 ring. Corporate office, can I help you? Ah, uh, yes. Who's this? This is Ron with the corporate office. Can I help you? What corporate office? Well, who did you call, sir? Uh, I'm trying to figure out why you just called me like 14 times in a row. Right. Huh. Uh, I can check on that for you. Uh, did you make a complaint? Complaint about what? Well, I don't know, sir. You tell me. This is a complaints department. For who? Well, who did you call, sir? The number that just called me 14 times in a row. Hey, don't you yell at me, you son of a bitch. Yeah, exactly. You know you left a voicemail last time, and I know you're not with the complaints department, right? Why don't you suck my dick, buddy? Good for you. Fuck off. <laughs> I don't know who that was. Was that maybe the paparazzi person? Uh, was your internet fuck right there? No, it's fine. Really? It's I, I heard it like big roboting. I'm sorry. No, My it's bad. Discord. Discord's taking a shit. 
Oh, I'm sorry. This I, I got, my comments. I got fucking issues here too. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sorry about that, my friend. Too Can someone change the server location? Ray, do you know how to do that? No, it's it's not only this server. It's uh, all of them. Everything ah. is is too ah. slow. Yeah. Fucking Discord. Oh, my well. apologies. I thought I was uh, the the call was fucked. Sorry about that. You can just watch the live stream. Yeah. <laughs> well. It would be distracting if I was to do that at the same time you're talking, you know? <laughs> What's going on here? They have a hook to put the hook onto your ear. <gasps> She's selling all her jewelry at two fifty. Yeah, can you so, can you do like so the pretty and the big run sale? Very popular right now. Gone metal. If you like yeah, these, one dollar twenty four. <laughs> I can get keep a hold of anything. Make her bigger on the YouTube. I want to see her ugly face. One sixty-seven is next, and that is your silver post back earrings. Daddy sorry, Macron, we need some goosing in our lives. Voice mailbox. <gasps> very light. We got one! Plasmodon, thank you. Person you called has a voice. Uh, Zoom meeting. Zoom meeting. They are back. I just got told they're back. Yeah. Yeah. Look at my new name. I think you'll find it funny. This folks felt it. to reach some consensus on what the responsibilities of the trail steward should be. Shall I just monster pause this guy? Sorry, Steve. Um, no, wait, wait. I wanted to tell you, I, um, I really enjoyed last night, and I think we should meet up again in the future. You make... <laughs> I just got rid of it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Good riddance. Yeah. Muscular, good looking. No man has made me feel like you did, Steve. I love you. Oh, 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 I got it. Oh, 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 can you monitor the situation, please? Steve? Can you help me here? Do you have the moderator code? Change and decay In all the round I see Oh, thou that Shit, they can see you. They can see your screen. I know. Who put this? Who put the fucking show up there? That was Ace. Oh, guys. First you should do it again just to confuse them. can you help me? Do you have the moderator code? Okay, hole. My wife right now doesn't have sex. I'm over it. Do it. I'm going to get divorced. I told him I had just a second dick and get one of the guys. I'm just really horny. Is that Putin? Yes. It was Snoop Duck also. Did you see that? I didn't see Snoop Dogg. Did you see my name though? Look, they're That's about the they're about to see. You're so good. They're about to see it going into the meeting. Hold on, I'm going to monster pause <laughs> them too.
Yeah. Yeah, would love to grab hey, your head. You yeah, just kind put of my big monster paws fucking cock to your face. Start pissing right in your mouth and all over your face. <laughs> you expose that fucking egg bottom fucking <laughs> hot fucking and ass here is right. David. Let me piss on it. David put West. my fucking dick right to it. Piss in it. Slide my cock up in your fucking hot ass and start charging you up with just fucking gallons of fucking sperm. Wow, that's, wow, that's great, great sir. sir. I don't think anyone else is left in here. Yeah. Did you spot me? Just does. You're not answering me. Which one are you? I've, I'm David Bridal, dress for men. Oh, there you are. Yeah, okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, all that for this? Yeah, it's, uh. it's just <laughs> us in there now. Fuck these people. Yeah. Sorry. Not a good joke. All right. Fuck you, people. Fuck you. Fuck you. Let's try and help somebody here. Now, let's see. Yeah. Uh, we did that one. Brandy says her package is just sitting at the UPS warehouse. Brandy Toot? Oh, shit. Hold up. Hold on. I don't want to call from paparazzi. <laughs> that would be confusing for her. Well, then they can't call back and yell at me. Yeah. That's frustrating. Mm -hmm. And we don't want that. We want them to be able to call if they need anything. We want them to be irate. Welcome to Verizon Wireless. The number you... Ah, boo. Fuck you, Verizon Wireless. The service you are attempting... Ah, boo. The service you're attempting to dial has been disconnected. Oh, fuck off. This lady's a bancho or something, and she's demanding her package right now. Right, right now. Not later, right now. That's what she says. Yep. We'll be all Let's oblige her. Might have to send Scobie around there. Hmm. At 3 a.m. <laughs> With a couple of guys yeah. who are up to no good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Dressing all black. Don't be alarmed, ma'am. Do you have a big dog? Do I have a big dog? No. No, no, no. You should ask her, like, if she have a dog, if she close all her windows at night, you know, like, to imply you're gonna rub her, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a bug alarm? Do you have a husband? <laughs> how, how far away are you from the police station? <laughs> Do you have a cell phone or landline? Welcome to Leica Mobile. Leica Mobile. Oh, uh, no, this Bancho is on Leica Mobile. She's going to change her number every 10 is minutes. Is it a UK, a UK thing, Leica Mobile? I think so, yeah. It's like for Indian Sorry. people. Though. But the person... <laughs> but, uh, Exclusively for Indian people. <laughs> Pretty much. I think it's all of Europe. Ah. Uh. Uh, this person got a, uh, rental car that had the check engine light on or something. That's great. It's signaling that the engine is present. That means working. he's driving it wrong. I'm going to tell him. <laughs> tell him it's the, the engine that's working. Hello? Hi, am I speaking with Mike? Who's this? Mike, I'm calling from the corporate liaison team with Avis. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. How are you doing? I'm doing real good, thank you. Reason for the call, though, is I understand you had reached out to my team with a complaint. Is that correct? No, I never reached out regarding a complaint. Oh, you didn't complain about Avis um, on social media? You had a check engine light on the vehicle? No. Okay. Well, can you can you take us off your list then, please? We don't want any more sales calls on this number. I'm not. I don't need. I don't need a call from y'all. That's fine. Okay, well, take us off your list then, please. No. Yes, take us off your list. No. Take us. <laughs> you sound no, always throw them out when you, you say that. You fucking soundboarded him already. No. Mm -hmm. No. No. It's been a long time since you've played Ray's uh, Chronic Masturbator song. It is, right? Such a good song. Such a Fucking good train wreck. Shut no, up. It's, it's a well good remembered. Song. Well remembered. We'll play it again. Lots of opposed love. to me. Opposed to mine, I should say. Oh, Ray, Ray loves it. 
It is. To an automatic voice message system. Nine, <sighs> five. I love the instrumental and the hi guys at the beginning. <laughs> it's so good. It's amazing. Hi guys. Hi guys. Chronic masturbator. <laughs> I take my own cum. <laughs> Guy's complaining about Red Bubble, although he's not picking up either. Is it Gear Bubble or Red Bubble? Red Bubble. Huh. What do they sell there? Uh, let's find out. Yeah. I'm sorry, but the person ah. has a voice box. <laughs> we got one! Oh, these people are making me work for it now, these pricks. Yeah, once again. Uh. I notice in the background that I have a golden disc <laughs> with the song oh, yeah. Trainwreck Fuck You or something like that. <laughs> oh, <you're laughs> That's amazing. You're spoiling the Easter eggs, eh? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's a great one. Alright, now fuck that person. Fuck that person in the ass. Nordic track. Uh, this person's very happy, unhappy with Nordic track. They ripped <laughs> off his parents. They're very happy about ripping their parents. Yeah, they're happy. They will be happy when I'm done. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. Hello? Hi there, is that Andrew? May I ask who's calling? Andrew, I'm calling from the Corporal Liaison team with Nordic Track. Hi. Uh, reason for the call, I was passed your information by my social media team. I understand you had reached out to us with a complaint. Well, I posted something. I wasn't expecting a call, to be honest, but uh, I, I can give you some more information about what I posted. But um, Yeah, sure. Tell me, long, tell me what happened. Uh, sorry. So uh, a couple of weeks ago, my parents had purchased a recumbent bike along with a warranty from Nordic Track directly. Uh, the bike was assembled and everything seemed okay, but um, once they started to use it, they noticed that there was a very, very loud noise. Uh looks like on the... Um, where the seat hits the, the stand. Um, they've been going back and forth for weeks with your customer support team, different, being passed around different agents. They've sent videos. The agents say they can't see the video, but also the video says there's not a problem. So clearly there's some kind of miscommunication. At one point they were promised that somebody was going to come and service the bike, and then they claim they have no record of uh, uh, having processed a ticket for the support. Hmm. So they're really at their wit's end. My, my father is absolutely livid with the whole situation, and he is ready to basically issue a charge back and just get the whole thing taken back. Oh, gosh. Okay. Um, I'm, what I'm going to do, I'd like to reach out to him and get some more information and see what we can do. What's your father's name, please? My father's name is Steve Calagero. Yeah. Okay. And... Um... Bear with me a second. And can I just confirm his phone number? Sure. Uh, go ahead. Yeah, I should just pull it up really quickly. Now, I'm also going to say that he he is kind of really, truly at his wit's end, so I can't say how receptive he's going to be to a, a call like this. I'll let him know it's coming, but... They are really fed up because, again, this has been going on for weeks. They've been passed around different agents. And uh, honestly, I've never seen them so aggravated with any kind of major purchase like this. Oh, gosh. Well, I, I do work at the senior level at the corporate office here. And I would like to try and do something to kind of make amends for this. So, uh, yeah. Go ahead. What was his number? I'm sorry. Sure thing. Let me give you his cell one second. Okay. Okay. That's going to be 973. Okay, well, yeah, I think it's best if I reach out to him. So, um, if you could maybe drop him a text, let him know that the corporate office is going to be calling, and I'll give him a call in a few minutes. Is that okay? Sure, I'll call him right now. Perfect. Okay, and I'll, I'll leave it a few minutes, and then I'll call him as well. Okay, thank you so much for your help. Thank you. Take okay. care. I hope this works out. Yes, me too. Thank you. Bye-bye.
<laughs> Thank you. Take care. Godspeed. Love you. Kiss when he tell, when he told me that this guy's not going to be receptive, like, <laughs> yeah, great, a challenge. That's when I knew I had to get the phone number. So uh, I didn't get it though. You cut it in the. I got it for everyone. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Okay. Is Discord still being an asshole? No. Why? I just check it. I got oh, okay. no, I got no green bars on my Discord connection. They're all gray. I don't know what that means. Grave means good now. <laughs> oh, does it? Did they change it? No, oh, no, okay. no. I'm joking with you. They might have done. There's like three gray bars, and usually they're green, so I don't know. Yeah, it's green on my side, so I would say it's not. <laughs> it's. I've got three gray bars, so I assume I, I've it got means bad you're fucked. Uh, you're yeah, fucked. that's the new fucking shit here. They changed it. Really? Ah, oh, that's stupid. Ah, that's annoying. Fuck that. Why? <laughs> maybe green and means bad green now, means? train wreck. Yeah, maybe it means bad. <laughs> that's, what, that's what it is. And three is bad, but one is better. Green means your voice is coming through with a French accent. Ah, that's what <laughs> might be. wondering about it. Yeah, that's what it means. Yeah. Gray, gray is the British accent for the gray weather. Ah, you see, that's what it is. Ah, it makes more sense now. Yeah, that I they, they got a it. whole system going on. Yeah, they got it figured out. <laughs> they got all figured it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you should have asked me. <laughs> Log says we have 123 viewers and only 59 likes. Wow. Wow. 300 ah, viewers? I'm so unhappy. Wow. Ah. God damn it. Why? That's enough of that. It went up to 67 likes, apparently. Nice one, guys. We should have stayed at 69. Yeah, get it get it to... Six oh, we're at 69 likes. Yes! Yay! Leave it there, guys. Leave it there. 69 likes. Yay. <laughs> Looks like no one wants to see me suffer. We're only at we're only at 25 schmeckles. Can you believe it? Because they love you. They love me so much, they don't want me to eat these super hot That's chili right. chocolates. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I, I've got a oh, feeling... Oh, it's chocolate. You say it's chocolate. So it's like a game you. that you're supposed to play. So it's chocolate, right? Yeah. Some of them are chocolate flavor, and some of them have, like, the world's hottest chili oil in them. Ah. So they fuck you up. And you're supposed to play a little game, but I Is figure... It's like the bamboozled bean? Kind of like the bamboozled thing, yeah. Now, I figure when we get to $100, I'm just going to start eating them, you know? <laughs> <And we'll laughs> fuck it, you bought it, you got to yeah. eat it. <laughs> There's like a whole game. Look, it's the chili challenge. You're supposed to spin yeah, this spin. wheel and... Uh, uh -huh. Spin this wheel and it lands on like eat, eat me, feed me to the person huh. on your left or whatever. Like oh, like a twist trick. But uh, thing. yeah, but I figure these guys just want to see me fucking eat them. So get uh, donating, guys. MacronShow.live forward slash tip if you want to see me mm. suffer. Mm -mm. You can do it, you people. Ventured. Oh fuck! See there we are. Taint reveal fund. Billy tip yeah. twenty schmeckles. He says that's for fuck the train yeah. the train wreck taint reveal fund. Oh my, train wreck! You have to show your taint apparently. <laughs> As after all, I'm Reverend Bell and Taint. Reverend Bell and Taint, yeah. <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. You bought that for a dollar? Mm-hmm. All right, thank you, Billy, though. That's awesome. Oh, and Eric and Casey Sass sent you a $4.99. Four ninety-nine. Oh, that means we have to add the Super Chat, so there's probably like another $10, $15 to add to that total. We're well, getting close oh, to me having to eat pump. one. Yes. Oh, very yes. close. Very close. Yep, yep, yep. If you guys make any big donations tonight, by the way, on buy me a, uh, on macronshow.live slash tip, try not mm -hmm. to use PayPal because they're being assholes right now. Just put the do the direct credit card thing, debit card thing. That'd People be great. Asshole. Anyway, let's dickhead. let's call Steve. Yeah. Nordic track. He's gonna be so happy. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna try and slowly make him angry. Uh best. I might throw up, Mr. Pricky, if you're lucky. <laughs> you, you, you puke up once. Once, yeah. I, I had to do two shots of the world's hottest hot sauce, and it made me puke instantly. Yeah. 
It was fucking horrible. That was hardcore. Oh, yeah. That was, was the worst one. I threw I up so much. So <laughs> much throwing up. <laughs> it... Your call has been forwarded to... Ah, Steve, you stupid prick. Stupid dick. Steve. 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 Hello. Hi, is that Steve? Yes, hi. Steve, I'm calling from the corporate liaison team with Nordic Track. I was just speaking with your son about the problems you've been having with your product. Do you have five minutes to uh, chat to me about that? I'm yeah, I'm on the phone right now with one of your return specialists. I can oh, certainly call you back. Gosh, well, I'll be handling it from here, so you can go ahead and hang up on the other line. I have all the notes on your file and everything here. Uh, okay. Just ha just hang up on that line. Don't worry about it. Okay. Uh, so tell Fine. me what... Great. So tell me what's been happening. Okay. Well, the thing is this. Uh, we bought <laughs> it on the, uh, the 14th. It was delivered on the 18th. Um, right. As soon as, it came, as soon as we tried it, it was making a very loud obnoxious creaking noise that is really i mean i know what the problem is it's emanating from the the tracks that are uh, on the, the wheels that are on the track for the seat adjustment right and um that that is uh that's causing uh, a creaking noise because those wheels are not sitting you know are not sitting firm they're they're moving back and forth mm. so as i'm sitting on the bike they're moving left and right on my side and um, so that's the problem. It's not a it's not a parts issue. So I think it just needs some kind of an adjustment. It may even need some kind of lubricant to oil. I just you know I I paid for the warranty, so I don't want to do anything that is going to to void the warranty. So that's why I called. And um, you know with iFit, they insisted that I do a video, which we did. Um, I did a number of times. They said they would do the video. You know, the, the 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 size was too big for them to open. I then had it hit, I hitched to a link, which they could then open up the link on, and they said they couldn't do that. Oh, okay. um, and uh, and then they they told my wife today that essentially this problem is not something that is covered under any warranty. It's not a function problem, and it's just going to have to be dealt with by just you know, listening to the noise. Look, I, I understand a noise that there are moving parts on a yes. machine and there can be noise, yes. but this is above and beyond with the issue. All I want is somebody to come and fix it. That's all I ask. Yeah, no, I understand completely. Um, I'll be taking care of this for you at the corporate office. Now, first of all, is there any way you can let me hear the noise? Can you sit on the bike and let me hear the noise? Sure. Yeah. Sure, we can, hear, we can do that right now. That'd be let, great. Let me yeah, let me, let me hear the noise. Me okay. I mean, look, I, I've been on, I've been on bikes, um, in gyms, and I've been on, you know, I've been on Nordic bikes in gyms, and it does, you know, it, it just doesn't make this, this kind of noise. Okay, let me hear that. Okay, hold on. Okay, here's the noise. Okay. Have you heard it? Yeah, okay, I can hear that. It does sound like there's some kind of strain on the seat. Um, I'm sorry to ask you this question, sir, but I have to ask this. Do you or your wife weigh over 300 pounds? Yes. yes. No. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. We don't. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. I'm 185. Hold on a minute. I'm hearing, I'm hearing, I was hearing multiple answers then, sir, just to confirm. 
You said you do weigh over 300 pounds? Yes. Yes. No, I do not. Yes. Yes. I, I, no, I don't. Yes. I do not. Yes. Um, I'm, I'm hearing two different answers there. You said you do weigh over 300. Yes. No, no, I don't. I yes. don't weigh over 300 yes. pounds. Yes. No. Yes. You're, you're committing some kind of scam on me, sir. I'm sorry, what? I, I, no, 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 I, I just, I heard a different answer there, that's all. Is it yourself that weighs over 300, or is it your wife? I do yes. not weigh yes. over 300 pounds, and you are, sir, I don't know who you are, but you are scamming me. You're, you're, you, you, I do not weigh over 300 pounds, okay? No. Okay, I'll put, I'll, I'll put that down. I, I, I don't know what you mean by, I'm just trying to establish the facts here, okay? Um, okay, um, and have you had this problem with any exercise equipment? Like, have you, have you been too heavy no. for regular exercise equipment before? Yes. No, no, yes. we're not too yes. heavy. Yes. We're not too heavy. Look, yes. you know, are you going to, are you going to, you know, I'm, are you yes. going to do anything about this, or am I just going to have to hang up on you? No, 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 absolutely. We're going to get this taken care of now for you, sir, whether that means we send somebody out to take a look at it, or potentially we look at a whole replacement. Um, I, I just, I'm trying to establish what the problem might be. I mean, uh, do you know what the problem might be? Send, yeah, I yeah. told you what the no. problem is. The problem yeah. is no. that the wheels are squeaking on the track. Right, but I'm just trying to establish... So you said you don't weigh three over three hundred, but does your wife? No, I don't. I does, don't. Does your wife? Yes. No. Yes. Okay, I'm hanging up on you. What? No. Huh? Yes. I call him back one more time, then I'll call his son back. Should I call your son? Yes. 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 All right, I'll do it. Yes. No. <laughs> Hello? Hello, sir. I think the line got disconnected there. I'm sorry about that. Um, now, where are you from? What, what is your position in corporate, by the way? I'm the senior VP of customer service, sir. This was escalated yeah, to you, me because your you son gotta be had... Kid, you got to be kidding me that you're the senior VP of customer service. Your son had reached out to us, sir. That's why I'm contacting you. Your yeah. son had actually but, contacted us. But I don't weigh us. over 300 pounds, so why are, you, why are you saying that? Did you hear the noise? I kept hearing you say yes and then no, so I was a bit no, just confused. No, I'm not 300 pounds. I'm not. Okay, but... My you, wife is not. But your wife okay. is, is. Are you saying your wife is? Yes. Yes. N no. I, yes. No. Yes. Huh? I, my I, wife is not 300 pounds. I'm hearing two different answers. Is that you saying yes? Yes. No. Yes. It's not. Huh? So, okay, so you're both under 300, is that right? Yes, we are. Okay, okay, I, I'm going to put that down. Okay, goodness me. And is this the first product that you've purchased from us before, sir? Yeah. No. Yes. No. Oh. Huh? Yes. No. Yes. No. What's yes. going on there? <laughs> no. What are you? Yes. Huh? No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Sir? No. Yes. Sir? No. Yes. Sir? No. Sir? Yes. Sir? No. Sir? Yes. No. <laughs> oh, the fucking wife. What's going on here? With What's going the... on here? <laughs> I got, I got Your call has been forwarded to an automated <laughs> voice. Oh, fuck. I think he blocked my number. Oh, no. Right. Uh, now, where's, where's the... Let me call the sun back. I'll call the son back and say his dad was very uncooperative. <laughs> Alright, this is Andrew. He hung up on the real employee as well. <laughs> that was great. He just did it straight away. He didn't even say anything either. They always hang up when you told them you're taking the You've reached Andrew's phone. Leave a message and I'll be sure to get back to you soon. Andrew, damn it. Come on. Yes, we are. Yes. No. Hello? Oh. <laughs>
You've reached Andrew's phone. Ah, fine. Are you over 300 yes, pounds, though? Are. Yes, yes, big. yes, 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 <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Too big. Too big. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. <laughs> All right, fine. Uh, they might call back. This guy says that Popeyes is a disgrace. Every time I yes. come to the city, I stop at Popeyes every Thursday. And I have to eat my family. <laughs> <laughs> I stop at Popeyes. Oh. Please leave your message for uh, eight. Eight. Number eight. Please leave your message for... Fuck. Mm. Hello? Please leave your message for... Is it you? Mm. Or is it a sound bite? Hello? Hello? Yes? Hello? Yes? <laughs> yes? I'm talking now. <laughs> I am the, the number captain. you dialed is not in. Ooh. What's your new avatar? What's the picture inside of the circle? The picture inside What's... of the circle, what? Your avatar on Discord. What does it represent? Oh, it's just the guy from Dadfields dancing. Oh. Yeah. Oh. If you, it's animated. Oh. If you click on it, it's animated. Go have a look. Really? Yeah. Let me click. Go check oh. it out. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. Oh, I know that guy. He's a famous He's... dancer. Uh, yeah, oh. a famous dancer. Oh. No, for real. Oh. Oh. Uh, <laughs> WestJet was no help. Hertz was... What's CTV Regina? What is that? Hold on. CTV is Canadian TV. CCTV? Do you mean? Oh, you mean? yeah. That's in your neck of the woods, yeah. right? Kind of. Yeah. yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So Just say you're from Vagina TV, and he's not gonna notice at all. <laughs> so, all right, I'll say I'm from WestJet. West ah. WestJet is who he's actually bitching about. Hello, this is Ron calling from WestJet. Here at WestJet, my name is Ron. Did you ever? Did you try again to do uh, one you of reached those? the client so we can get to your call. Fuck. Boo. Boo. See what happened. I jinxed it. Yep. You ruined yeah, it all. That's my fault. Uh, I'm gonna disconnect. Uh, uh, oh. Oil pressure pump. Uh, you yes. reached the client so we. Yes. Pretty sure that's him. Mm. Coco Loco, thank you for the super chat. Coco just said yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> nice. Uh, you reached a client, sorry, we can. Fine. I'm not going to help you then. Jerk. Dickhead. Jerk off, bastard, dickhead. <laughs> dickhead, bastard. Bloody bitch. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Son of a bitch. One of those legends. Son of a bee. Was he was he Mario? Italian Mario or something like that? Hello. We are not available. I think you remember was Mickey Mario. Mouse guy? Yeah, bless him, Mickey Mouse guy. He, he, you said he died, but was it true? Yeah, he died. He had cancer. Oh, fuck. Yeah, bless him then. Uh this lady's name is Queen. <laughs> Call her Queef. And she's <laughs> <laughs> Hey Queef. Run calling from the corporate office here. She's not getting her miles from Delta or something. Oh no, she won't. We will make sure of that. She, she better put her cap on the ground and start dancing for it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Those miles have been donated to um uh Iranians <laughs> need air miles. <laughs> 
<laughs> Ber <laughs> Bernie Sanders uh, build, uh, build for Health campaign or something like that. Hi, this is Queen Gale. I'm on There she is. Centrifuges for Iranian. Yeah, V Bucks for Iranian. That's what it is. What about air miles for Iranians? Ah, they need to travel too. Yeah, they need free air miles. <laughs> they need to travel to compress. <laughs> Offer them a free trip to Libya or uh, Ukraine, Afghanistan, Iraq. Hi, this is Queen Gallery. <laughs> Queen Laquifa. Queef. Queen Laquifa. A queef is a fart of the pussy, right? Yes. Isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. That is the medical term. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, sir. That queefing. is the correct medical terminology for it. <laughs> Uh, should we ask Dr. Shaw for his input on, on that subject? He would confirm. Yeah, yeah, I bet he will. How is the good doctor? Is he good? Uh, uh, yeah, he's in here. Yes, hi, this is Queen Yeah, I see him there, but he's not, he's not talking. Right now. I'll leave a little message. Please leave me a brief ah, message with good. your name and phone number, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for calling. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hi there, Queef. I need to speak to you about your account. I'm calling from Delta. If you'd like to give me a call back, this is my direct number. Thank you and have a great day. I called her Queef. Never... Did you notice? Queef. Yes, I notice. Always good. Thank you. And the Great Den is... This lady's Doesn't called go back. Angel. Never go. <laughs> that's, a, that's a meth head name. Color angle. Call angle. Hi, angle. To <laughs> form her name. Hello, angle. Your call has been forwarded to an. Oh, or you can say maybe like Los Angeles. You know, people say it like weird, like Los Angeles. Los Angles. Yeah. <laughs> Los Angeles. Someone said call her anal. Okay. If she picks up, these people are really making me work for it. Look at these fucking people. Oh, do you remember when you call a girl, she was called Lana, and you said, Gee, would you like to try your name backward? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for a girl to have that name, and I'm going to totally do that joke on her. What do they do at Win dixie Oh, that's a fast food chain. Is it? Yeah. What kind of store? It's a no, supermarket. It's a supermarket. It's a supermarket. Train wreck, you idiot. You nearly messed up the whole prank. I'm sorry. I missed Train wreck is fucking Dixie talking Lee. out of his fucking eyes. Just fucking yeah. Yeah, noise. True. Win yeah. Dixie. This person waited two hours for service, apparently. Oh. I don't know if they mean customer service or they actually waited in the store for that long, but... uh. We're waiting for your call. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> They're waiting to be sexually serviced. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Gary said it's a good store. Okay. Hello. Hi, is that Pamela? Hello? Hi, is that Pamela? No, you have the wrong, wrong, wrong number. Oh, I'm calling from Win dixie about your complaint. Okay, you still don't have no... You, you don't have... I don't... Uh, did, I did, did, it did, was me. Shut up. Huh? Did, 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 shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Huh? Huh? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> ah. <Oops>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Hi. Logo is having fun with the Pam the is bike. currently unavailable. Please. Oh, that's her. Damn it, Pam. Uh. Hi. Hi. Pam is currently over enthusiastic voicemail. Hi! <laughs> I'll leave her a message. I'll leave her a message. Shut up. Hi. Pam is currently unavailable. Please speak clearly. Your voicemail is being transcribed by email. Hi. I'm calling from Win Dixie about your complaint. Please give me a call back at this number as soon as possible. Thank you and have a great day. Make sure it said. Dane on the transcription there. 
Frontier, this person got a 7.25 a.m. flight change to 8.30 p.m. <laughs> so it's rescheduled to 6.15. She better go to the airport earlier. Let's find out. They might be at the airport right now. They might actually be getting on the plane right now. Three, one, three. Ah, one, see, I think they're, I think they're getting on the damn plane. Hello. Hi, uh, can I speak to Stephanie? Uh, you have the wrong number. Okay, well, can you take me off your list, please? I'm sorry, you called me. Yeah, don't call here again, please. Take me off your list. I don't know what you're talking about. We don't want no sales calls on this number, please. No, take me off your list. Again, you called me. So you called me. You about. called me, you idiot. You stupid man, stupid scammer. <laughs> Damn it, they're really making me work for it right now. What the hell? Hello, please leave your message after the beep. No, I won't. I don't want to. We're sorry, you have reached a number that is... No, get out of here. Get out of here. Complain about Frigida. Wants help with an order that he didn't place. The service you are attempting to use has been restricted or is unavailable. How Please contact customer care. Dare you. You have reached First United Methodist Church in Norfolk, Virginia. <laughs> that's his church. Why is his church listed there? Maybe that's where he works. We're sorry. No, no. What the hell? How do you say that name, that airline? Avianca? A-V-I-A-N-C-A. Avianca? Avianca. 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 All right, Serena, you got a problem with Avianca, have you? Oil pressure pump. Mr. Pricky, yes. thanks for the super the chat. US. What is the Avianca? Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Six. I need some fresh, fresh complainers here in a minute. These assholes are making us do actual work tonight. Mm. They were all picking up at the start, too. Yeah. Fucking jerk offs. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging. Yeah. Oh, man. These people Great. are really making me work. We don't even think that was a real uh, person, though. Yeah, me too. In some weird foreign country. All right, budget. This Rent guy, this guy got charged for cleaning his vehicle. That's great. Ah, uh, I got, I got, an I got an idea for this one already. <laughs> this is Devin. 
Hi, Devin. I'm calling from the Corporate Liaison Team with Budget. How are you doing? Doing fine. You? I'm good, thank you. Reason for the call, I was passed your file by my uh, social media team, actually, uh, up here at the corporate office. Um, they uh -huh. said you had reached out with a uh, complaint, is that correct? Yes. Um, what, what actually happened, Devin? So I rented a minivan from you guys uh, at uh, Seattle Tacoma uh, and uh, airport. Mm -hmm. And when I brought it back, I had driven through snow, and when I brought it back, I didn't think a thing about it. I just turned it in, and then about, I guess it was a week and a half or two weeks later, I got a letter in the mail saying because it was excessively dirty, there was going to be a $125 charge. And so I called customer support, and I said, look, you know, I don't know whether this is, you know, legit or this is uh, uh, your policy or not, but uh, I've been a customer for well over 20 years, and I've I there's been weeks where I, or years where I've been renting from you guys 40 weeks a year or more, and I've never been asked uh, one time to clean the vehicle before I, I turn it in, not once. Mm -hmm. And and so here's this $125 charge, and the customer representative was you know a little hesitant about it, but he said, look, you know you've been with us a long time, you've done all this, you know you, you know you're still going to be a customer for a long time. You know, we're, we're just going to make this go away. And I said, wow, that's that's great. I really appreciate that. And, and I'll just keep on renting from you like I always have. And uh, and so then I get another letter today, same letter, just another one. And so I, I figured it would been had been taken care of, and I guess not. And so I talked to a representative today. Oh, my goodness, what a different experience. So oh. <clears throat> hang on a second here. So the representative today just kept saying, it's our policy, it's on the website, you know, blah, blah, blah. She, I said, look, I said, you realize over $125, if you're going to treat me this way, that's the end of our relationship. You know, just, I mean, you're talking about a lot of money here. I'm, I'm a very good customer. And so she just didn't care. She honestly didn't. And I, I said, you know, since you don't seem to care, I said, maybe your supervisor will care. And I said, can I speak with him? She goes, no, you can't. And I was like, wow, that is terrible. So, so anyway, um, here we are. And, um, and so I, I called, I mean, I don't know what else I was supposed to do. I just called my credit card company and said, block all charges from, um, you know, from uh, budget from now on, because, you know, if they start hitting me with frivolous charges like this, I'm not going to do business with them anymore. And they, they did that. So, yeah, so I can I can see that here. We have, we have got a charge that they're trying to take right now. Um, now the problem is I have investigated this matter for you with the actual location. Um, mm -hmm. So specifically, the reason for the cleaning charge was that they had noticed uh, quite an abundance of sweat stains on the driver's seat. Um, the report yeah. says that it looks like quite a, uh, with all due respect, a heavy set person had been sitting on the seat, and there was a lot of sweat stains and residue on the seat that needed to be cleaned. So, unfortunately, it isn't a frivolous charge. It is a valid charge, I'm afraid. Well, I had nothing to do with any of that. I can acknowledge the fact that the outside of the car was dirty. I drove through snow, but I never did anything inside the car except drive. Um, and I don't know anything about any sweat stains or any of that nonsense. So, um, so I mean, if... if if budget stance is, hey, this is legit, we're charging it, well, then my response to you is this. Um, I'm going to fight it every step of the way, and I'm going to make you work as hard as you can for it and spend as many hours as you can working to get your $125. Um, and so I don't care. And then on top of that, you're not only going to lose my business, but you're going to lose every person's business that I can influence, which is quite a lot. And, um, and if that's all worth it to you, if 125 bucks is all you care about, that's no problem. Try to get your 125 bucks, and we'll end our relationship, and that's that. Well, but if the problem is, sir, is now that you've said that, I do need to pass all that information to all our partner companies and the companies we worked with. So you'll find it very difficult to rent anywhere um, until okay. you, you, you do pay off By this charge. Do, so. do whatever you want. I don't care. Yeah, yeah, unfortunately. But, I mean, I would recommend, you know, if you do sweat profusely, maybe put a towel on the seat or not, something. I do not, and that's nonsense. And so I don't sweat any more than anybody else. But I, to, I be fair, to be fair, to be fair, sir, like I, a I can hear that you're very out of breath just talking on the phone. And I have looked at your profile pictures on social media, and I can see that uh -huh. you are of the very heavier persuasion. 
And if you do sweat excessively, you are going to have to clean up after yourself, I'm afraid. Oh, my gosh. This is the most ridiculous call I've ever had. You have a nice day. Why would you say that, sir? <laughs> well, okay. technically, you're absolutely correct. He's like a pastor or something as well. Oh, really? Uh, a minister, would yeah, you say? A minister. What are these people doing in this I'm meeting here? about is that none what? of those original 2,500 acres, including the 1,200 Get in here, guys. Purchase, is right. under any kind of long-term protection. Um, we've all been using those trails and the wildlife habitat has been protected just by the benevolence of the Hawk family and their vision for how the land um, should be used. But none of it's under any kind of formal protection. Um, Get in here, guys. Come on. As Sarah Fuck said, them up. we're planning to hold the land, uh, most of it. We'll talk about that in just a minute. But um, I see your fucking you bullshit surfing and your bullshit voice. <laughs> just, just a quick housekeeping if you can all mute yourself that'd be great <laughs> um, if you know the Met Health Conservancy you've probably seen us over the years protect the riparian areas or put agriculture I don't even areas. know you now I'm fuck sure. off you germ yeah we might just need to mute everyone <laughs> sorry we're going to do a little housekeeping here if you're not already muted if you could mute yourself that would be yeah, great yeah it would look and grab your head yeah with my big mom. <laughs> Look at them. Sorry, I think we have been um, spam. Augment the volume maximum to them. Turn to the Zoom button. Okay. How do we do this? I don't know. Ow. Sorry, everyone. So, Ashley and Sarah, you need to go into the participants and just boot the guy under Vlad. Who do you Sorry, pretend to be? You're nobody. Who do you Sarah pretend to be? You're nobody. I'm Fuck sorry. Off, you What's guy. going on here? It's spit roast if you want. Sorry, everyone. Yeah. Yes. yes. What's going on? Uh, we just got um, spammed or somebody. We had someone join yeah, the... grow up people grow up this is very immature <laughs> do you like us play oh wow. <gasps> um sir what... please mute your phone this is a serious meeting so you uh sarah and ashley there are several people um ken wells looks like him? he uses male prostitutes all right so we're gonna. I think we should end. This I get yeah, the they boot me. Can, uh, the boot. Uh, guys, guys, guys. Um, I think you should all fuck off. Just fuck off, okay? Fuck off. <laughs> Where are you playing? Oh, Bill. It was a. It was a bad thing. Ecstasy. Oh, I don't know what that was. Oh, that's the one. Did you see my new name? No, I didn't catch you though. Run Penisee. <laughs> Run Penisee. P E N I S S E. This, Run Penis. <laughs> this lady's last name is Cox, so she's got oh! to answer. She's complaining oh, about name. Lowe's. Oh, she's probably. Uh, was Yoko Ono being too loud? Maybe. Okay. Cox, come on. No, no. Ted's not happy with Comcast. Wait, the Zoom meeting's back.
Is it at the same link? Let me take a little look here. Oh, look at this. This guy's talking while he's on mute. Uh, Rich, uh, we can't hear you talking. You're on mute. Fuck off. You useless Hi. cunt. Oh, the end of the meeting. I was about to play Ray's song as well. Ah, fuck it. Play it, play it for me. No, no, not until we're in a meeting, so. Uh, uh. I'll play it in the meeting. <laughs> <laughs> we can't just play that song willy-nilly, you know. It's a very it's, special it's so song. Good. It's sacred, you know. Yes, it is, but it's so good, you know. Yeah, it's a good song. It's a very good song. Did you do the instrumentals and, and everything? Like, Did you do no, the mix-up? No, we, we just got the beat from some free website. <laughs> That's amazing. It was, it's heavily yeah. edited, though. It's all edited to fit together. And yeah, stuff, yeah. You know? Yes, I do, DS. Absolutely. Forget about it. Oh, we were doing this this fucker anyway, so getting confused with who we're calling. Come on, Ted. No, that one's a bad number. That one. This one. Teddy, Ted, Ted. Come on. Hi, you've reached the voicemail of Ted Friedman. That's him. That is the one. That's what I was looking for. Hi, you've reached the voicemail of Ted. You prick. Hi, you've reached the voicemail. Fine, get out of here. Fuck out of here, Ted. Kimberly, Verizon, I have been an evangelist for your superior customer service for more than a decade. <laughs> an evangelist. That's the first time I've heard anyone call it's themselves the... that. Oh, really? In relation to that's... a company, yeah, that's the first time I've heard <laughs> Yeah, that's true. I think it's the branch of the Catholic Church. This is Kimberly. I'm sorry I've missed your call. Oh, she definitely yeah, sound like a church nut. Yeah. Might be getting a bit late for the old complainers, you know. They all got to sleep around this time. This is Kimberly. I'm sorry. It's been two hours since she went to bed, you know? Yeah. <laughs> she goes to bed at six. Hello? Hi there, uh, Kimberly. I'm calling from the corporate liaison team with Verizon. How are you doing? I'm fine. Uh, um, it's pretty late. Yeah, reason for the call. I was passed your information by my social media team. I understand that you had reached out to them with a complaint. Yeah, I've been a really big fan. In fact, I left AT&T for you guys many years ago, even when I was still employed by AT&T. I've been an evangelist of your customer service ever since, just how easy it is to get through. Um, how I'm talking to a person who's having a real conversation instead of reading from a script. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I've just been increasingly frustrated by the a remarkable, dramatic change in your customer service platform from even just a year ago. <clears throat> mm. So, I mean, what happened exactly? What have you been trying to do that you were unable to do, I guess? Well, <clears throat> um, what I want to do is just discuss... Um, putting my mom on my plan and, and, you know, there's some deals that are out there. And the person I was speaking to today kept saying, well, there's the 5G Go plan, the 5G this plan. I'm like, but what are those plans? I mean, giving me the name of the plan, that's a marketing title. I'm in the marketing business. I don't need to know the name of the plan. I need to know what, what the differences are, what the costs are, what are the offerings. And 
I, I had to ask that like two or three times, and the guy just wasn't getting it. He's, and I, was, I just said, you know what, I'm going to um, just talk to somebody at the Verizon store. And then when I called the Verizon store, I kept getting a call center. I wanted to talk to somebody at the retail level, and I couldn't talk to anybody. Oh, gosh. Have you tried, so um, just as a suggestion when you call, have you tried being a little bit less waspy? <clears throat> Less waspy? Are you serious with me right now? Yeah, I mean, I can see how it would be very off-putting and difficult for them to do their job while you're kind of, you know, being like this with them. Is there any way you could tone it back a little bit with the waspiness? <clears throat> you know what? I can't even believe you are criticizing me as your customer right now. I'm just engaging with you in terms of telling you my experience, and you're telling me that my... Be, my um, personality is off-putting, and I can't believe you just said that. You know, being like right this now. with them. Is there any way you could tone it back a little? Sorry about that. That was my recording for some reason. Um, yeah, if you um, if you could tone down I the waspiness you by... you even say that to me is the height of, 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 of rudeness, and it just makes me want to leave Verizon altogether. Oh, no, I'm sorry about that, man. Maybe it's like a language barrier or something. I didn't mean to offend at all. I'm speaking the same you language just... you're speaking, sir. Oh, my God. I'm speaking the exact same language you're speaking. I can't believe you are saying this to me right now. It's just, uh, I, I, again, I don't mean to, to offend at all. It's just you have a very waspy personality. Do you know what I mean by that? Very abrasive. You know what? I can't believe you are saying this to me right now. Oh, God. You should not be speaking to your customer this way, calling the customer abrasive. I'm just relaying what happened. And I'm just saying that but you yes, do have I'm a very... I'm frustrated, but you should not be talking to me and telling me that I'm being abrasive. I'm being frustrated. You should not be telling me that I'm being abrasive. I can't believe you're saying this to me right now. Who do you think you want from? So you're doing it right now, ma'am, like the shrieking and the high-pitched and the, and the aggressiveness. Oh, the it's not necessary. Yeah. You're coming... You are being incredibly misogynistic, and I'm hanging up now. Bye -bye. Do you want to speak to my supervisor? <laughs> How is that misogynistic? Wow. <laughs> she was waspy, though. A fucking voice. Calm down, ma'am. You are seriously not calling me back right now. Ma'am, ma'am, do you want to speak to my, do you want to speak to my supervisor? Shut up, ma'am. <laughs> Fucking bitch, holy shit. I gotta keep calling. <laughs> Call her back. <laughs> Entitled fucking Karen. What a bitch. This is just because they didn't explain it to her quickly enough, wouldn't you? I don't need to know the name of the plan. Well, yeah, you kind of do. I mean, you stupid bitch. How is that misogynistic, anyway? Men can be waspy as well. Ma'am? This is Kimberly. I'm sorry. If That's what an Instagram filter for your voice sounds like. Yeah. I bet she's going to tweet about that. I was going to put Hazel on the phone to uh, yell at her, but... Shit done. Nah, she's done. This person's complaining about the Sacramento Bee. Is that some kind of local newspaper or something? It's gotta be, yeah. Uh... It's a fucking landline, too, so you know they're old. Of course they're old. I bet you they're probably nine years old. She's called Carol as well. Go easy. I'll try. Don't kill her. Maybe they're fucking already in bed. Well, they better wake up if they want that damn newspaper. I bet you gotta call fucking five times. You know how long it's gonna take him to reach the fucking phone. Please leave a message for the Greens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> They're lying in bed right now with the phone ringing like, What's that noise? Oh. <laughs> What's going on here? Is that your peacemaker, honey? <laughs> <laughs> Please leave a message for the green.
dream. Oh, no. <laughs> if they don't pick up this time, we better send the cops around to do a welfare check, because I'm worried about the greens. Yep, yep, yep. It's the right thing to do. Joe Mama says I have to eat a pepper. No, no, we didn't even, we didn't get there yet. Don't worry though, you might get your chance later this week on the supporter shows. We have three supporter shows this week because we're doing a premium show tomorrow. Oh, fuck, boss. It's a good time to be a premium member. I think I'm going to do a Domino's runny. Oh, nice. I might, I might need some help with it around about nine o'clock my time. <laughs> yeah. Please leave a message. Oh, fuck, ah. please. Kodak can hear Susan. She's got issue with Roku and wants to speak to Life Rep right now. Uh, where is she? Let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Short chat. All right. Second number is the so. Roku, eh? Roku. I can help with this. Really, Belfast? You've never been on a Domino show? Wow. These are the best, buddy. Fucking Irish people always miss the best. What the fuck's the, with this? The Domino shows are the best. Takes me a lot of work though in the background, but uh, hopefully I'll have time to do it all tomorrow. It's okay. We're that's, gonna find the golden one. That's only for premium members. You need to be on the Ten Speckles or more tier. It's the super secret premium show. <laughs> Oh, you motherfucker. Oh, you bitch. Let me try the landline anyway. Fuck Susan. Fucking cunt. Might as well try it. Uh, Ronnie, test that number I sent you. Sure. Zoom meeting, eh? Nah. Oh, we have a fat people meeting, eh? Okay. Better answers to a problem. Another group of conscience folk can be taken when something needs to be corrected. Like individuals, OA groups learn from their mistakes, and so does OA as a whole. We find that our higher power often leads us through our blunders. Pass. Is that me? <laughs> I got removed. What? I didn't even do anything and I was muted. Oh, well, fuck him. Oh, yeah, it's Eating Disorder Awareness Week, so uh be a good week to do a Domino's, right? It's kind of relevant. Happy Eating Disorder Awareness Week, guys. Uh... Adam wants his seat back from Delta. I uh, who took his seat or why, but let's find out. We don't offer that big seats anymore. Yeah. Oh man. Doesn't like that number. Come on, Adam. There we go. If you do want to catch tomorrow's dominoes. Hi, is uh, Adam there, please? No, you have the wrong number. Oh, you have the wrong number. Wow. If you do want to see uh, tomorrow's amazing premium show, go to macronshow.com forward slash join. Sign up on the premium tier to see the premium show. It's usually when, Fuck the, Adam. Usually when the craziest shit starts happening. Corey. I'm liking Victor in the chat with the bad jokes. Hello. Hi, uh, is that Adam? No, this is not Adam. This is Bill. Oh, uh, Bill. Um, why have you got Adam's phone? <laughs> Who's this? This is John. How are you doing from the club? Uh, I'm fine. Yeah, are you coming down to the club on Thursday? Uh, what club are you talking about? The Bridge Club, stupid. 
I think he's got the wrong number. Damn it. Well, take me off your list then. No more of these sales calls, okay? Damn. I just guessed that he was in a bridge club. Yeah, Victor's in the chat telling some really terrible dad jokes. They're pretty good, though. For example, why was the PTA meeting homicide difficult to solve? Because it wasn't apparent who did it. Oh. <laughs> oh. Can I give you one for your repertoire that I heard recently? It's fucking terrible. My doctor recently prescribed me some anti-gloating cream. I'm looking forward to rubbing it in. Oh! 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 No, that's enough of that. Let's stop. American Automobile Association. Poor customer service and pricing policy. And this guy's called Ray as well, so I'm going to be like, Ray. Yeah, call Ray. Call Ray from AAA. AAA, is that who he's bitching about? Oh, yeah, AAA. Mm -hmm. AAA. Forget you guys, just call it AAA. Something about his price went too high or some shit. This is Ray. I kicked him in the phone. Ray! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Keep calling him. Ray. 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 I can't tell the phone right now. Motherfucker keeps giving you the fuck button. This is Ray. I... Oh. Ray, come on. How can we help you now? Ray. I can't tell the phone. You piece of shit. Leave him a message. Fuck him. He'll call back. Alright. Hey, I can't tell the phone right now. I'm going to leave a brief message. Your name and the number, and I'll get back with you as soon as I can. Okay, joke. Thank you. Bye-bye. After you leave a message, you can modify oh, it by pressing pound. Hi, Ray. I'm calling from AAA. I need to talk to you about your complaint. Please give me a call back at this number ASAP. Thank you. To re-record, press 1. To confirm, press 2. If you would like this message to be delivered on a future date, press 1. To leave the message now, press pound. Your message has been recorded. Bye. Bye. What's Steven's Bye. problem? Rock Auto received the wrong part. Rock oh, Auto. It's always the same with them. Oh, it's the same excuse, yeah. Yeah. And Steven is a fucking Canadian. Gotta be ordered the wrong part. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic... Fucking people. Rhiannon is not happy with TurboTax. Alright, we have two more complainers. One of these fuckers better pick up. TurboTax. TurboTax. Two more complainers, then I'm out of here. Alright, alright, alright. One of them better pick up, though. Otherwise, we'll have to find someone else to annoy. <laughs> otherwise, we're out now. Yeah. yeah. No pickup. No one's picking up for TurboTax at this time of night. How you've reached Hello. Jim. Please leave your name and number. Jim, you're not Hello, Jim. He's supposed to be Rhiannon. <laughs> she changed sex. Maybe. Changed to Jim. <laughs> it could <Hello>, happen. Jim. <laughs> it could. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice Oh, fuck you system. button now. He's there. Onetta, Parnell. What? Who knows? Onetta, Parnell. Who fucking knows? One more for this person. All right. Hello. Calls to this number. Fuck off. 
Hello. Steve is complaining. <laughs> this is the last one on the list. He's complaining about StockX. Oh, StockX. What did he do wrong at StockX, do you think? I don't know. It's a, it's a company that makes talking for women, you know? Oh. <laughs> it could be good. Is it what they call, like, the sucks for the woman, you know? Hold on a sec. I'm just reading the complaint here. Your call uh, has been forwarded to an automatic voice message. You're this guy's talking about his new daughter-in-law having a problem. Okay. Hello, Steve? Hello? This fucking prick, what the hell? <laughs> Hello, Steve. Hello, Steven? Hello? What the hell's wrong with this guy? Yeah, well, fuck him off. Are you tired? Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message. Hmm? Are you tired? A little. Your call has been forwarded Damn it! To an this fucking guy. Yeah, me too. Hmm. Fresh one, FedEx. Ooh. <clears throat> huh. Did he the just make his name complaint? is. Uh, no, the bitch's name is called Karen Jaikowski. Oh, nice. Jaikowski. Hello? Who's this? Hi, Karen. I'm calling from the corporate office with FedEx. How are you doing, Karen? Hi. Thank God. Someone's a human calling me. Oh, thank God. Yeah, we had a message okay, to call you back. Uh, how can I help? Well, um... My my corporate, uh, my company package that was supposed to be sent to me, I waited all day. I even stood by the gate because they said it was going to come by 2.40. And now it says pending, and they don't even have any status update or anything on it. Yeah, I think... And then think... I couldn't even call. I tried calling customer service, but the bot wouldn't even let me through to anybody. Yeah, um, I think I see what happened here. Now, this is Karen uh, J Jakowski, is that right? Jakowski. Jakowski. Yes, sir. Yeah, um, it looks like there's been a bit of a problem with your package, I'm afraid. Um, can I just confirm what was in the package? Sure, it's company products from uh, iCare Partners. From iCare Partners, yeah. Um, looks like what had happened is one of our drivers accidentally dropped the package um, off a bridge. And so <laughs> it is... Yeah, it, it, it's very unfortunate, but the package has gotten damaged. That's what I'm reading on the report here. Um, so that will be returned to the sender as undeliverable, I'm afraid. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, all right, let me go call my boss. All right. Was this uh, anything particularly important in there? Yeah, it was. Um, let me. I'm going to call my boss. Okay. Bye. Okay, well, the thing is, ma'am, hold on. I haven't... Damn it, Karen! Fucking Karen, call her back. Curse on her. You be the you be the driver. Give so. up your name. Let me find some sound effects. Oh, what a bitch! Really? I was gonna have you like play some broken glass. Your call has been forwarded to an Swear automatic to voice message system. Karen. <laughs> Karen. Karen. Yeah. Karen. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Karen. <laughs> it's almost aggressive how she said it. Karen. Can you guys just deliver it to me, even if it's in a messed up package? Yeah, ma'am, I keep trying to call you. I need, I hadn't finished the conversation there. So I'm on the I'm on the line with the driver right now. Now he has the option to deliver it. He's telling me that it's making a sound like uh like hold on, Alex, are you there? Yeah, yeah, I'm here, I'm oh, here. This is the Karen sorry, lady. She kept you, she kept hanging up you, on you, us. Yeah. Oh, she's the Karen, yeah. Do you yeah. have the package there? 
I got it. I got it in my hand. Look at it. You hear that? That's when I shake it. That's what it. That's what I hear. I don't know what the hell is in there. A cowbell or something, or I don't know. Maybe something broken. Can you shake the package again for me, please? Okay, here we go. Yeah, but even now if it's broken, can I just have the package? Can you just send it to me, or, or just yeah. the package? You or want me to open it? You want, you want me to open it and throw the shit away and just bring you the package itself? Do wow. You... Is that how we're talking to people now? Do you want to... Gary, it? are you hearing this? What? Did you, see, did you hear this? What he said? The driver said? <laughs> oh, we gotta record this shit. Because I'm, I'm sharing this with the media. You can fucked up big what? time, buddy. You really are living up to your namesake, aren't you, Wait, Karen? wait, wait, what? Wow. <laughs> yeah, she's living up to her name. Oh, my <laughs> God. That sound effect was perfect. <laughs> like, sing, 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 sing. The drawer full of a stencil. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, it's Ray's yeah. uh, schmeckle bag, you know. Sting, 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 sting. Let's keep calling her. Did you did you hear what that guy said? Yeah, ma'am, he's still on the line with us. Do you, ma'am? We need to establish. Do you want the package delivered tonight? No, not after how he talked to me like that. Ma'am, you and need said to. He said he was going to throw the shit out. He said literally said he's going to throw the shit out. Ma'am, you need to stop. No, no, bud, you do not stop because I'm going to the media now. I'm going to the news. I, all my friends work for the news. Bye. Okay, Karen. Wow, well, oh, our friend for the works news. for the news. Say look, that that's a great never. quote. Say look at her. Tell never. me, tell me, she doesn't look like a Karen. She really look does her. look like Fucking a Karen. Bitch. Though. Like seriously, stupid ass bitch. Wow. Yeah. Go back to your own country. Yeah. Oh, she did say that. Did she say that? Hey. Can I speak? Uh, yes. What's happening? This is her husband, Thomas. I'm really sorry that you're married to that shrieking Karen. Karen, holy shit, that must be awful for you. You poor guy. I bet you have earache all the time you, from that crotchety old you, bitch. Who do you work for? I want to speak to the manager. For, ah, ah, ah. Do you want to? Do you speak for? Do you work for FedEx? I speak for FedEx. Yes, sir. <laughs> Your customer service for FedEx, and you speak like that? Isn't it ironic that she's called Karen? She has the ass for the manager haircut. She screeches like a fucking demon on the phone. You poor guy. I bet you have a headache all the time. All my friends work for the news. Uh, ah! wh whatever, whatever, whatever issues I have with my wife is between me and her. <laughs> you're, the, like, you're the worst. You're the fucking worst customer. At least I'm not heard. a giant and, shrieking and, Karen. And, um, At least I, you admitted I it though. You, I don't even believe that you're really FedEx. Because, you fucking um, cook. You little. You want to get in the box and we can ship you anywhere away from her. Yeah, I would want to get away if I was you. You Karen's cook. No charge, sir. We'll ship you anywhere in the country to get away from that bitch. Anywhere in the world. Where do you want to go, sir? We're here for you. I'd suggest you get about 100 miles away so you can't actually hear us screaming. <laughs> sir? We'll pray for you, sir. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, we're so, gonna... what, what, so, why are you even... What, what, this is regarding a fucking package. We're gonna... So what the fuck are you guys talking about? Don't fucking swear at me, you little cuckolded fucking bitch. Nice job wearing the pants in that relationship, by the way. Hey, her business is her business. I'm fucking busy doing my shit. Yeah. So you, fuck you guys. Pair of dickheads, aren't you? You gotta train her better, you fucking... Yeah, get something. your woman under control. Stop Put being her on a leech. A, stop being such a puss. Pull his pants up. <laughs> Grow Please, a pair, you know? Uh, and what, uh, Grow a pair of grow a pair of balls. Grow a pair of balls, you little wiener boy. Stop letting your wife you call all the shots. You fucking hodgy motherfucker. Ooh, b -b 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 -b. do you take it in the ass? Does your wife peg you every night and then put you I, to sleep at I the end of the bed? Not as much between you two guys. Record. <laughs> there she goes screaming again. <laughs> <laughs> You're so sorry, your sir, about what you endure every single day of your life. I would be deaf if I were you. Was she really with pretty when my you, drum with a drill. When you first started dating, was she really pretty and then everything's gone south from there? Now yeah, she's just probably. a screaming, saggy titted, wrinkled old bit. <laughs> Thomas, <laughs> hey, Thomas, screaming Thomas let me ask you something. Why you she didn't change her last mother, name? Please. Yeah. Why yeah. are you really talking about your mom because Record your mom it, before. record it! Record it! Yeah. Ah, I wanna talk to the manager! Okay. Okay. What what do you get? What what uh, customer service company do you guys work for? Suck my cock. Well, lick um, my so, tank. Okay. 
Believe me, this is not that. This is not. Customer, record it. Not for the customer service. They would never record it. Record My it. My friends work for the news. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you can. You will never stop us. <laughs> You be- oh, your ball sound as work. broken as your package. How, how, you guys, oh. how, how do you guys, what do you guys do for? What do you guys take pride in? What do you guys do that you take pride? Laughing at you, that, sir. I like making what Karen scream. What do you do that you take pride? I in? Like that that you would, uh, that you would do a good job I like making Karen scream. I like making Karen person. scream. I like making Karen you scream. I like making Karen scream. I like making Karen scream. I've answered you like six times. If your wife would shut the yeah. fuck up for two minutes, she'd be able to hear yeah, me. Yeah, record this, bitch. Yeah, record this, you son of a bitch. Do um, you guys get paid for what you do? Yes. Yeah, oh, yeah. I get no. I get paid to make Karen scream. Do you, do you walk news. around the house with earplugs no, uh, or a get, fucking headphones? For, do you work for customer service and you, work, you said you work for FedEx? You're so confused. Sir? Why are you so confused? Sir? You're stuttering. I got a question for you, sir. How ugly no, are just, you? I'm just making sure. How ugly I'm are you, sir? Sure what's stay with her. going on. When was the last time that uh, Karen there had... When... Right now? And you guys have been uh, fuck right off and we all just blocked. Just when, was the last, when was the last time Karen had an orgasm? Ah, there Never. we go. <laughs> I, I wanted to ask my question. Like, how ugly was he to endure to stay with her? You know, by choice. You I'm know? gonna call her like, one How ugly time. was he? He doesn't have any balls. She's, she runs the house. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she put it in her purse. Ooh. Oil pressure puff. Yes. In that package. Oh, it's been this <laughs> is for making Karen scream and their pegged husbands too. Oh, well, I record this. Record this. My Play friends work for skin. the news. <laughs> this is what's crazy. My friend. See? My friend works Cardinal for the Cardinal Flanagan just gave me 10 schmeckles for making a Karen scream. See, I was right. Yeah. Alright, fuck it. Time for me to get out of here. After I see what the fat people are doing, of course. Macron, before. No. You make... Oh, come on. Okay, what, <laughs> what do you want? What do you want? You made Stormy oh. Daniel scream too, you know? Yes. And All this Karen's. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Go on, then. Go on, then. Access Ask. code accepted. Muted. Ask names or faces. Unmuted. We identify ourselves as... Who do you members. pretend to be? You're a nobody. Who do you pretend to be? You're a nobody. Muted. I'd fucking kill you. Within the fellowship. Goodbye. Oh, there we go. Do you have the Michel sound clip saying, asshole? Thank you for calling. If you are the mod, there are currently. Oh shit, we content. gotta call one more. You are now unmuted. The food is. Why, who else? Who else we got? Who else needs my call? Help? Call Lisa. She had a she had a terrible flight with Delta the other day. Oh, what happened, Lisa? What happened? She made a fucking pictures of her fucking ass, and I don't know what the fuck happened. Really? What? Show Hi, it. you have reached Lisa at four seven eight. Whoa! The what the fuck was right? Oh, something! I told you she fucking made yeah. a. Yeah. Why? Hi, you have reached Lisa. I didn't want to pop. I like the <laughs> shadow. <laughs> no, that's great. That's gross. Hi, I mean. you have Lisa. I don't think that's a shadow. Oh shit! Hold on. Ring, 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 ring. That's not. Ring, ring. Corporate oh, office, my... can I help you? <laughs> I think that was them. I think that was. Whoever <laughs> yep. find the number. Oh, uh, call back as a. Ooh. Wait, 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 that's not a oh. fucking shadow. The fucking no. bitch pissed herself. Yeah, that's what I'm saying to you. That's the oh phone one. Gosh, really? Hello? I thought it was Lisa no, no, that's at not a shadow. No, no, read oh, it. She says, it that, looks... she says that water spilled off the train. Oh, shit. It like... oh, oh, shit. She, she, pu she pissed herself. She had an um, orgasmic sensation making her <laughs> 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 I'm just gonna call and accuse her of pissing herself on a flight and tell her she's yes. banned. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Act your age, ma'am, please. Hi, you have reached Lisa. Let me change my number to Delta because I really want to talk to her now. Uh, see if you can show the pictures to the everybody. This is my last attempt. Oh, it's just a wet pair of jeans. There's nothing really. Oh uh, yeah, okay. It's not. It's you not very will, exciting. You will not be banned for that. Yeah, okay. Uh, she's banned for uh, pissing herself. 
It is a bannable offence. Hi, you have reached Lisa. Oh, Lisa. Maybe on. the end goal, you're not, a, Lisa. you're not allowed to bring liquids on board. Hi, you have reached Lisa. Oh, Lisa, come on. She has to wear diapers next time or she can't go. <laughs> yes. Hi, you have reached... All right, Ronnie, oh. Ronnie save, her for, save her for Wednesday or maybe tomorrow. I always hear the last one, so. I'll try her again one more time. Bitch. You have reached the voicemail box of... Oh, Jeff, get out of here. Uh, I guess it's time for me to leave. Let me just see what's going on in here quickly. Shit, you want to call from the Pakistan Welcome consulate? No. <laughs> <laughs> that could you be did. very bad. Cool. Um, unmuted. Hi. Hi. Goodbye. Wow, mm -hmm. fucking rude. Yeah, they don't like you at all. Racism. So racist against the British in there. Yeah. Welcome to the conference. Sexist. If you are the moderator, yeah. please. You are currently the only person in this conference. Yeah, well, fuck them. Fucking well, people. we had a good run. We had a good run. Yep. Welcome to the conference. Or hang or prank hat. You will now night. enter the conference. <clears throat> no one in that oh. one. Ah. All right. <laughs> so, yeah, tomorrow we're doing a premium show. You must go to macronshow.com forward slash join and become a premium member if you want to listen to it. Hmm. Uh, and you should do that anyway, but you should, uh, especially if you want to hear me turn over a Domino's tomorrow. Allegedly. Allegedly, anyway. Um, yeah, those are good people. Yeah, really, really good. Usually, it's going to be a good show. Macronshow.com forward slash join. Um, other ways to help the show: go find us on you know Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and all those things, and hit the like button, and subscribe, and share, and comment, and donate, and all that good stuff. That'd be awesome. Mm -hmm. That's about it. Thank you for all the Apple numbers, uh, Belfast sure. and Belfast and Ronnie. Uh, that's about it. That's about it from me. Get the fuck out of here, everybody. Go to macronshow.com forward slash join and go and join in. I'll keep yeah. the donation goal going all week, so uh, you may get to hear me eating or, or live streaming myself eating hot peppers this week. It's another good reason to join. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Say goodbye. Good night, my friend. Say goodbye. Oh, shit, wait. I have to line the end credits Where is the carpool? Fuck. Where is carpool? Fuck. I know, right? I normally tell her. Hi. <laughs> uh, uh, wave train wreck. Wave yeah, I'm, wa I'm waving right now. Bye. Can you, you see fucking me? dirty French. Can you see me? I'm waving right now. Oh. We're all watching oh, you. Oh. 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 All right. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Get out of here, everyone. Good night. Bye. Oh, thank well, God it's um, over. Fucking okay. shit. Yeah. Oh. Eek. Eek. Maybe. How about the judge? Eek! Well, Eek! Um, Eek! Ah, uh, what a great song. Scoby, text me later. <laughs> okay, Scoby. Expect the text. Ready for it. Tonight, Back to the night. Macron, thank you very much. Colors of the rainbow. I am Salva. Can be taught that. Yeah, go on, man. Good night, people. Good night, people.
Hey, listen to you. You sound like a fucking hillbilly, you fucking what? What, you got grade 8 education? Okay, I think that's all the lyrics we need. Fuck off, Kevin. Don't you ever get tired, go to sleep. Good night.